We are taking a deep dive into the good, the bad, and the ugly across all of Mattel's Masters of the Universe lines with special guests Vex and Toys right now on Toy Habits Live. And before we go live, smash that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a beat. Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Habits. I'm Michael. And I'm the Toy Sorceress, and you're watching Toy Habits Live. How's it going, Michael? It's been an incredible Mo Tuesday, hasn't it? <laughs> it does, yeah, it has. And like they have not let up on the Mo Tuesday stuff whatsoever. And oh my gosh, all of the drops today were so exciting. They were exciting. They were exciting, but I do have you know, I guess my own uh, take on a lot of things, good, bad, and ugly, like you said in the opening. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So yeah, we are here on a special Tuesday night to stream. It's like, it's March Madness for Motu, which is awesome. We get to see all the cool stuff. <laughs> yes, we are rounding March off with the Motu Madness that we go through every year. Um, luckily, this year wasn't, I don't think this year was as bad as last year. I think last year they had like more drops in terms of sheer number of figures, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah, I think they're getting a little better at just coordinating the drops and just kind of making it easier for people like us to cover them, which is nice. Absolutely. Thank God. But <laughs> I wish they would do it on a different day. Why don't they pick the weekend? They know toy tubers have day jobs. We can't live off of this. We have to work, and yet they, they want to go ahead and do all these drops in the middle of the week when we're all working. Um, go figure. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. I wish I could email Mattel, but they probably blocked my email address. Yeah. We're probably like on some naughty list or something. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing as we predicted a lot of the stuff that came out today, right? Yeah. Thank and you we'll to get those. Into that. That's right. <laughs> Well, the chat is hopping on a Tuesday night. Do you want to check in and we'll see who's all here? Let's do it. I think I'm having a little bit of a lag on my uh, on my Wi-Fi. My apologies if I cut off. Uh, we got crew member oh. Joshua Robbins here. Lord Hoagie is joining us. Crew member Motu D is also here. Crew member Brennan Barnes is in the house. Dave Chanelli is joining us. Awesome crew member Frankie Rivera is here. Frankie, I hope you're enjoying that uh, King Grace doll that you got. That is so awesome. Clint Jorgensen, crew member for 12 months. It's been 12 months. Michael, wow. can you believe it? Congratulations, Can't Clint. It. <laughs> one of the OGs. We got uh, crew member uh, Joe Coleman, Brennan Barnes, crew member as well, and crew member Giraffe, as soon as I hit Giraffe's name up there. Um, also, we got crew member Neil Hunter Hyde is joining us. Crew member Bigum is also here. And Giraffe, you too have been here for 12 months. That is so awesome. We got all music fan. We have Ryan Cole, which is also an awesome crew member and just gifted five Toy Habits memberships. So five of you out there in the chat yeah. are going to get an awesome Toy Habits membership. That is so nice of you, Ryan. We got you, Ryan. awesome crew member and huge friend of the channel, the one and only Baroness of Toys is here. Good to see you, Baroness. Jordan S. is joining us. Vex and Toys. Hmm, where is Vex? <laughs> Rob Zilla, crew member, is also here. We got Dale Warner. We got, did I also always also say uh, Rob 2023? Or maybe I said the other Rob. Awesome crew member Rob is here. Nanya Biz yeah. is joining us. Steve Munyar is here. Another awesome crew member for 10 months. Studio Henge Kenton is here as well. Uh, on you are 83. Alf is also joining us. Crew member Daniel Quay. Crew member D Griff. Uh, Chef M80 and so many more. I think we'll end it there because we got a lot of people in the... Oh, I can't end it there because Joe Coleman just also gifted five... Toy Habits crew memberships. Thank you so much, Joe. Amazing. Joe is also one of our original crew members. I want to congratulate him. So if it did not come up on the screen, Joe, I believe you've been with us for 12 months as well, which is awesome. Yeah. 
And hi to everybody else in the chat. Um, we'll, we'll get around to you. I'll just kind of flash these at the bottom of the screen. So we want to um, say hello to the Toy Habits crew, which is growing by the day. Michael, go for it. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, yeah, we actually got uh, a bunch of new members joining. We have Eddie Soto, Mint with Card, Matt at Arms, uh, Cerrone Games Go, Chris Allen, Hal Jordan, Daniel K, Mike Davis, Eddie Danger, yeah. and With All Faults. So really appreciate the support, everyone, and welcome to the crew. That is awesome. And Joe, yes, you're one week away from hitting 12 months, but congratulations and thanks again for those memberships. That is so great. Uh, if you're not already a member of the Toy Habits crew, it's so much fun. We've got special events. Um, are we doing after party after this, Michael? With the, I don't know, did with you the schedule Junkies it? Genetics? Did you schedule it? <laughs> I did not. I thought you did. Okay, then. then no. <laughs> well, we, we can do that right after. Yeah, if you're watching, um, we're going to have an after party. <laughs> I thought that we oh, got that right. on there. Anyway, okay. so it's a lot of fun. And if you want to join, go ahead and go to Toy Habits on uh, YouTube on your desktop and find the join button on that homepage and become a member because it's a lot of fun. And everyone in our crew is amazing. And it's just such a fun community to hang out with. And as the Baroness says, hit that like button, y'all, because it helps YouTube know that we are freaking awesome and everyone yeah. enjoys us. And we are super close. Yes, Baroness, the, on the road to 10,000 subs. And That's Michael, uh, when we hit 10,000, what's going to happen? Uh, Modi giveaway. <laughs> Modi giveaway. That's right. Yeah. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Help us get to 10,000. And one of you lucky viewers are going to get yourself a Modi. I know you want Modi. All right, yes, Michael. We, so we have Modi. a special um, guest. We do. <laughs> um, before we do that, um, there is one just serious thing I want to talk about just for oh, yes. a couple of minutes. Um, so our friend yeah. Daniel, a.k.a. Soundtracks with Birdman, he got some very bad news that his uh, bully mix, Olive, who he rescued from the pound seven years ago, has an aggressive mast cell cancer tumor on her hind quarter that needs to be removed and will likely need uh, further treatment. As we all know, we, we are pet lovers and people who have pets, it's very expensive to get uh, quality care for your doggy. And so we started a, a GoFundMe for, uh, for Daniel. So, uh, you know, if you, I'm going to drop the GoFundMe in the chat, but you know, he's a really amazing, kind person, and he actually rescues dogs. Like, he has eight dogs in his house, and he's just a huge animal lover, and it was just, it was so sad to hear about this. So uh, we just wanted to wish Daniel uh, the best yeah. and just have something to support uh, our friend. So anything that you can give would be amazing. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, a dollar, two dollars, whatever it is, I'm sure it'll help and uh, help um, Olive get the treatment that she deserves. So, yeah. oh, that's she's, so sad to hear. Oh. It's, yeah, it's very sad, but- Yeah, um, she is. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, y'all. Um, okay, let's... on to some funner news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's all right, go, so... let's go for it. Let's talk uh, in the yes. Yeah, sounds good. Um, let's bring on our special guest, uh, who is a figure photographer. He makes customs. He is a lover of nostalgia, and he also does uh, toy reviews on his YouTube channel called Vex in Toys. And please give a huge toy habits welcome to Vex. How you doing, my man? Well, hey, how's it going? Good, good. How are you? Oh, doing great. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Yeah, happy to be here. I've been a fan for a very long time. And, uh, uh, you know, I go through phases of uh, what kind of, what toys I like. Right now I'm in the, the MOTU phase, so hey. it's pretty exciting. That's awesome. Yeah, you are yeah, you cool. are one of the OG viewers of Toy Habits. You, I, I can't, like, I think ever since we've existed, I've seen you in the chat or you've been DMing me on Instagram. So it's fine. Yeah. As soon as you had a uh, good leak info, I was on top of the guys. <laughs> so I was like, okay, these guys know what's going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it was, it's, it's pretty interesting to see like, you know, all of this stuff gets thrown our way and like 
99% of it materializes or, you know, and that 1%, like we might be off with a retailer or two who's getting the stuff, but we're pretty dead on. Yeah, I, I, it's amazing. And you know what? It's funny because I'm like, we see all the reveals. We don't get this information from Mattel beforehand. No way. We're not in the little cool nope. kids club like some of the other <laughs> YouTubers are. So it's really, I guess, validating for us that when these things hit, we're like, yeah, we, we, we predict them all. Um, but we'll dive into that further. And I guess it's, it is quite satisfying to know that um, we do get very reliable information. So when you reach oh, out yeah. on Toy Habits, you know, you can, you can feel very confident that we're giving good information in terms of our predictions. For Some, future sometimes a little too reliable. <laughs> too, yeah. Too early. Funny. yeah. For, yeah. If people don't want spoiler alerts and stuff like that. Sure. <laughs> but you know, uh, all right, so we're going to dive into the reveals today, and we're going to start with the uh, Turtles of Grayskull line. And, man, so it's basically Waves 3 and 4 that they are showing off here. Um, all of these things we knew were coming, uh, but super excited to actually see them yeah. in plastic. Yeah, yeah, and, and uh, you know, we got a preview of this, you know, uh, catalog sheet a few days ago yes. um we've we've talked about pretty much all of the figures that are on this list uh previously on toy habits and um actually it was a lot of fun to actually finally get to see that uh <laughs> that the two two bop study which we couldn't even say his name uh, when, right. when we found out information of him but you know it was fun because i i put together that, that little composite of him on photoshop and then i'm like oh that's how mattel you know yeah. translated it so but we'll get into that <laughs> yeah i think yours is better by the way but yeah we, we shall see um yeah all right, so I, I agree these, actually these aren't these these images are going to come up in no particular order but i really i actually really love the um images that they post here because you can actually see some of the figures that you know didn't have extra special like mm -hmm produced image or like the professional photo shoot like the ninja stealth he-man we can see hordak with his wings up here uh so i thought that was uh mm -hmm. i thought that was cool because we got to see yeah. kind of a little bit more of the figures yeah and I, I really love that image because it gives us a great composite of like having all of the figures on display on on one shelf or one section of a, a collection because um, you know, seeing the individual images is kind of cool, but when you kind of group them all together, something special happens and you're like, wow, that these look actually really great together as I'm staring at my cartoon collection figures in front of me. But, you know, and, and also actually my turtles look great skull down below. They look really good together. And um, I think there's there's a rhythm and a harmony and a style that's working for all of them. Um, and I think they're doing a really great job. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, they're doing a fantastic job. What do you think, Vex? Yeah, uh, you know this. This isn't actually like you know my favorite of the the Motu. I'm not like particularly fan of like uh, you know the crossbreeding, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, I I do like a lot of what they do. Uh, I still think it's kind of a a shame what they Donatello has a, a helmet versus the rest of them got a uh, yeah. You know, but Michelangelo, uh, I really like his head sculpt. I, yeah. I really enjoy that head sculpt. Yeah. Uh, the wings. Uh, yeah. What, what do you think of the, the little uh, wig he comes with? <laughs> yeah. Well, what, one of the photos has it like weird and like, yeah, that one. I hate that. I hate yeah. the way yeah. that looks. <laughs> but, but then when you see it, yeah, you're like, weird. oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, but then when you see it in a different way, you're like, oh, okay. That looks pretty good. I like that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's funny, like when they when they get posed for these images, like um there's a couple of examples that you know the paint is different between one image and another, like the, the color on the armor is different. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I can different. already go through this one. The mouth is different. Yeah, uh, the, the nunchucks <laughs> almost look like they have a plastic chain right. on the uh, other mm -hmm. ones. Uh but that those yeah. are pretty much the uh the only things I've noticed differences with this one yeah um yeah there was a <laughs> yeah uh, another uh 
another repaint or redo of a of a He-Man, uh, which is cool. It's a stealth ninja He-Man. And I was wondering, mm -hmm. is this like a Preternia disguise kind of vibe that we're going on here? <laughs> they can just reuse that, put some glasses <laughs> on them and call them good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this know, one here. Right. And, I, and they got this like tattered cape. Yep. Yeah. I I kind of thought this one was, yeah, he you God, take it's... off that uh loincloth armor. It is basically <laughs> just uh, the regular He Man with yeah. a bunch of uh, new accessories. Yeah, I'm actually glad they put the loincloth or, like the loin armor on there because like the thigh armor <laughs> just doesn't do it for me. You need the you need to cover the loins, right? Yeah. <laughs> Protect the yeah. family jewels. <laughs> oh, I know, right? We we haven't seen any pictures of with him wearing all this though, have we? It's only only in this only in this background image. Uh, you know, he's he's one there one. by Hordak, which is cool. Uh, yeah, so they have him posed back here. Okay. Yeah, uh, he he was one of the figures that just came out just with the picture on the white background. So that's pretty much all we've seen. Oh, does he get a mask? That's a good. Yeah, yeah. it looks like he does actually. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. That's pretty yeah. cool. It's very cool. I can get in a little closer if you want me to throw that up on the screen. So, I mean, I can get closer, but it's like, it's just going to become a, a mash of blur. Yeah. Yeah. I know I tried blurring some of those Masterverse ones up that we didn't usually have in the out of the year. Yeah, he definitely has yeah. a mask. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I like the mask idea. Yeah. 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 That, that looks pretty cool. That is cool. Um, all right. So yeah, another another version of He-Man Sorceress. Are you going to get this one? Um, I don't know. I might skip it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I I have one shelf for these, and it's getting tight already. So um, I got to be picky. Yeah, I might skip the He-Man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you you gotta you gotta pick and choose when they start getting deep uh, into mm -hmm. a line. Um, and then, uh, oh, yeah, I think I'm going to skip this one too. Like, I don't, I don't really particularly like the figure, like the armor is cool. Oh yeah. You can see his mask, um, right here. Yeah. Oh, right. But, yeah. I mean, it's so funny. Cause like we look at the stuff all day and sometimes we don't even see the stuff that's on here. <laughs> it's like, it's staring yeah, us yeah. right now. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> um, and sometimes this is the only time where like toy sorcerers and I get to actually talk about the stuff and actually look at the stuff. I'm just covering it. So. We, we have not discussed this until this very moment. Um, right now, so <laughs> and it looks like oh. they're reusing like tattered cape from a uh, Skeletor as well, but it's in yes, that's yeah, Skeletor. that's a good, good call. Um, we have an homage to you, Tor Sorceress. <laughs> yeah, I, that's I a, love that's this. A good one. April head. Great. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, this is another picture that uh, this was the only picture of April, so if we go back to that, mm -hmm. um that picture you can see there's some other there's some other things that are yeah kind of accompanying her there's like a another like feather crest yep. on her neck and things like that so I, you really know what cool. i think it is is the bottom the bottom set of feathers like she's got her two wings and then mm -hmm. she has a little bottom set of feathers they probably rotate so they oh. haven't rotated up uh and it's probably that they displayed it wrong <laughs> yeah probably. Hey. Can you guys go back to the He-Man real quick? Yeah. Uh, chat chat might have uh, caught on to something here. Let's I think uh, Graf, uh, his right boot. Can you go check his right boot? Oh, there. So uh, <laughs> oh, the, the, the chat figured out that this is a uh, should be after he was mutated. Oh, ah. interesting. That is super yeah. smart. These, mm -hmm. these are, it's so funny, like, what parts did they decide to like put on these figures, right? Because he's not mutated, right? So he shouldn't, his foot shouldn't be busting out of this shoe. <laughs> yeah, the next comment, uh, Graf has, he, uh, he he has and he he cares. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he needs to go see the attorney and sculptor or the, the boot, the shoe person, whoever the, the, the shoe is. <laughs> uh, but, um, what do you, what do you think of April? I, this one is actually like a little tempting for me to like get just because that April head sculpt is so good. And I love the yellow that goes with it, with the feathers and everything. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. uh, and also that hammer, even if you don't use it for April, oh, yeah. that's 
pretty cool weapon there. I don't know if it's got like a a clear uh, – part of me feels like you can see through that hammer. Like it's got a lens or something. Or maybe it's just metallic on the outside. I'm not sure. But yeah. uh, no, this she just looks good. Uh, she looks great. Yeah. yeah. It, it's like she comes with like that carnival hammer that you swing to like win a prize, right? Right. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. And in yeah. the center of the hammer, it looks like it's got like a translucent blue gem in it too. Did you notice that? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was saying. You I, can I think kind you of can see it through it. Or see something? through it. Yeah. yeah. Or, if, or mm -hmm. I mean, it's hard to tell from this photo or it's just painted I, metallic yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Her wings do remind me of. You can see stuff. there, Michael. That, yeah, it, it, it totally does. And you can see her bottom wings. Uh, mm -hmm. You see on the bottom part right there, like behind her back. So they had those rotated the wrong way on that photo yeah. on the shelf. So Timbo oh, really? Timbo said, yes, the TS is right. Tail feathers are upside down. See, nothing gets past the chat. I, I know my sorceresses. <laughs> <laughs> you know yourself. Um, yeah, great. there's there's a lot of oh. love for April in the chat. Oh, good, there's, good. There's all the, that's her camera. <laughs> the hammer is her it. camera. Good Paris, job. you are too smart. I love yeah. it. That you got to pay attention awesome. to the chat more. <laughs> Here, I was trying to think. It's like a microphone. Yep, that is how cool. Yeah, or maybe that maybe that uh, other end is a microphone. Well, April, there's a camera, right? That's her thing. <laughs> one, that is one super end. smart. I love that. I love that. You can pull off the one end and use it for a microphone, and then the other end's a camera, maybe. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I love it's hitting everybody all at the same time. Giraffe, wait, it's not a weapon. It's here with Botog severed head on a pike. Nice giraffe. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that's awesome. Love that. Well, I'm getting her. I'll make space for her. Her wings are going to take up a lot of room. <laughs> I, w I wish that helmet could, uh, the the headdress could come off, though, because I would almost want to try that on the NECA, April. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Looks like that one is sculpted on. It's funny because we, we saw a test shot of April a couple days before mm -hmm. we got to see what her picture was, but the head sculpt was different. So I'm like, yeah, the hair yeah. and head sculpt that I you you showed, yeah, it was all yeah. Like, like where really where is that and who is who is that? So that's stuff. I think it's a different character. Hard me thought it was maybe Tila, but yeah, yeah, it's not. It's, not, it's yeah. different. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. Um, so moving on to, and, and, oh, sorry, I was going to make a joke. Neil okay. said the camera was on a monopod. I was going to say she has the camera on a selfie stick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So she, that's even funnier. All right, let's move on to Splinter. <laughs> All right, Master Splinter, thoughts, reactions, Splint Skull. <laughs> that's right, <laughs> Splint Skull. Okay, Splinter looks awesome. Name is a little bit lame, I gotta say, but the, what is the, the figure looks amazing. I love the figure. <laughs> it's it's Splinter That's Skull. Oh, is it okay? I the Split Skull, skull yeah. is better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. What, so what it's, do you it's think a play on, on King Gray Skull, obviously, yeah. but it maybe right, it should have been right. called King King Splinter or something, right? So as soon as I saw the uh, cape and good. the uh harness i knew it was supposed to be king gray skull yeah but uh i mean he looks super yeah. buff uh he does i don't mattel needs to uh they need to make turtles i don't know because uh playmates sucks and these are actually <laughs> really good like yeah. uh sculpts uh, i almost feel like they do better sculpts than they do of uh masterverse and stuff yeah uh, that's right there. So I know. It. So Mossman says, "What the flock? Splinter's yeah. not flock." <laughs> yeah, why wasn't Splinter flock? Yeah, that would be kind of funny to do. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah we don't need a thirty-nine ninety-nine Splinter in the line, but um, I'm I'm good without him. He is flock. not so. <laughs> I know. I know. Them. Yeah. What I, I'm wondering what they what the Motu TMNT need is a a battle cat of some sort. Uh, we haven't seen anything like that mm -hmm. in the crossover thing yet. Oh, right. So yeah. I I don't know what it would be if it would just be Battle Cat with a turtle shell. I don't know. <laughs> an, attack track, an attack track version of the party wagon. Oh, my God. Yeah. How cool is awesome. that? 
Yeah, they yeah. need to start mixing some of Let's that stuff. Get on it. Obviously, know, right? this, people this would lose their minds. Could you imagine? Yeah, we'll get well, an attack track in the in the, in the crossover line and the Turtles of Grace Skull before we get one for Origins, just like uh, <laughs> just like just like bad. everything else. <laughs> yeah, like everything uh, else. Yeah, um, yeah. Neil makes a great point. They get Splinter's head yeah. sculpt right on the first try, and yet they're still struggling with He Man's face. <laughs> I love that. Well, honestly, what I think they're doing with He-Man's face, they don't want to give you the perfect face because mm. once you get the perfect face, you, ha you have your He-Man and you don't need to collect anymore. But if they, <laughs> if they keep going with it, and like we're getting a little bit closer here and there. They're playing you know, the long game, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm all in on Splinter. So yeah, I mean, he looks great. <clears throat> I love the so, baby blue power sword. Too. Oh, that looks awesome. Question for both of you guys. So yeah. th this is a deluxe figure. He is supposed to be King Grayskull. King Grayskull is known for having the furry top of his cape. And that one looks like it's molded plastic. This yeah. is deluxe. So what do you guys think? Should they have thrown that in and made that the actual soft goods cape and a furry, furry uh, top piece? Was that a miss from Mattel? I don't know. I have a they theory on it. Go ahead if you want to go first. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I think they are going to put out a uh, regular release King Graceful, and this is the cape for him. So that is That's a great theory, theory, Michael. I like that. Yeah. Everybody gets a Graceful. So. <laughs> awesome. All right. You get a Graceful. You get a Graceful. Yeah, that's right. Everybody gets a gray skull. You all get a gray skull. <laughs> Check under your chairs, everybody. They should have just everyone. They should have just packed him in for all of the Etern folks who bought Eternia. That set was so expensive, just as it as it, as itself. So that's all I'm going to say on that yeah. one. Um. All right. Next up, we have a Stealth Ninja Leo. So yeah, we think we got some news that we were getting some retooled version of Leonardo. We didn't know what it was, but here he is. Thoughts? Is it retooled? Yeah, like, what's what's retooled? They added different accessories from the yeah, original, yeah, I, but... yeah. That that's yeah. I wasn't really sure because like the only news, the only info that we got was like it's it's kind of like a it's it's a it's a repaint or you know just a different version of Leo. So here he is. It, I like it's that. It's hard hood. to see with that little you know hood on his head. Is it the same yeah. head? Does he have like the left hand of his side of his teeth showing? Or is it a different face expression? I think it's the left side. Because it's kind of covered up. What I can tell. But you got to remember, too, these... The left side teeth? Is the good? white background. Yeah, I definitely think that's the, the white teeth on the left. <laughs> it looks like the other like, So they, they reuse the head, too. It's the same buck and everything. But yeah. also, you know, we all... Like Michael's pointed out to me is that these white backgrounds do have a tendency yeah. to change some stuff. Like, for instance, Michelangelo, his uh, head sculpt changed. <laughs> his do. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah they another did. Leo. What's that? They, they, did, they did change his bandana, though. Because yeah. the bandana in version one is windswept and this oh, one's right. wrapping around his head. That, yeah, so that's I suppose... To hold so you can have the hood on with the bandana. Yeah. I, for yeah. me, I, I always look at like custom fodder, and I'm like, oh, that hood, man. If I had a, <laughs> if I had a, a, a Skeletor, I could just paint that purple. And if I just had like skull head, and I put it on there, and I'd be like, I have a pretty good skull uh, yeah. Skeletor with a hood. Yeah, but that's go. just how my mind works. But yeah. <laughs> the, the mind of a customizer can't. I can't relate or get in there but i love what you what you do and what you make um jt brunick don't get motu vibes with this figure looks like a ninja turtles 3 movie figure he's absolutely right mm -hmm. that's really funny yep totally 100 percent. i mean I, I really like the the uh wrist guards on them the little turtle wrist guards those are cool uh yeah. and then his shoulder pauldron looks really nice um the rest of it it's like yeah you know <laughs> this was yeah. probably one i'm gonna skip Save myself yeah. some money. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm, oh. I'm trying. I'm trying to learn the art of skipping. So, yeah. So I am I at this point because we're so deep into all these. Things. Yeah, I'm probably skipping. I'm, I'm <laughs> skipping this whole line. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Unless you just buy them all for fodder. 
I don't know if, if some of them I see, uh, you know, I might. But this have next one, are you going to skip this next one? Are you a, a, a Eternals yes. fan? This Leatherhead looks incredible. That's, he he does I mean, look super cute. It doesn't really good. have to be a Motu crossover figure. I mean, this Leatherhead can stand on its own. Yeah. Right. I was I was saying that to, I talked with Matt Hatter too, and we we're talking about uh, Leatherhead, and I, I was saying this Leatherhead looks basically. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't even know. It was leather head with a motu with a loincloth. Is what I said. I mean, that's the only difference, really, is uh, between regular leather head. This one has oh right, yeah, has boots and a loincloth. That's right. About some the of the head. yeah, some of the figures they they have some like motu ish characteristics, uh, and some like are really heavy, and some don't. Yeah, uh, it's funny because I don't think this is like the full set of stuff that. Leatherhead will come with because he's a deluxe figure, so we have to we have to also think about that too. And, and here's the want want part. Want want. He's a freaking oh, Walmart <laughs> exclusive. The one figure for me that is my favorite out of all the turtles of Grayskull that were revealed today, and he's going to freaking Walmart. That is. <laughs> want, want. His accessories are pretty sweet. Too. I mean, he has a. Yeah, he's got a crocodile Dundee hat. Look at that. You know. I mean, that's so cool. <laughs> that's cool. What's what's that contraption to the left of or to yeah to the left of his? That's right. the the bear trap uh, thing that the regular. I think, I think he's talking about. about oh, I thought you were yeah. talking about the left to his. Oh, hat. The other thing above it. No, no, no. Uh, the left of his hand. It, it's a bear trap. Yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah. that he the the vintage figure came with a bear trap. Oh. And, you know, it's it split open. So that's what that is. That's yeah, that's awesome. a cool looking bear trap. It's yeah. big too. Yeah, it's huge. Leatherhead. Yeah, I love this flat. figure. I love it. Yeah, he <laughs> looks great. I, I wish they had put out more pictures of him, but I wonder you know, if the uh, yeah. mouth is uh, uh, it, articulated. Ooh. Articulated. It definitely looks articulated. You can see, you know, the the lines on either side that go all the way back. Oh, that would be um, awesome. I, if it I bet you. Yeah, that I don't know. I don't he have works. a leatherhead yet, so. Uh, I'm also a TMNT. Vex, collector. you're gonna have to pick this one up. <laughs> so, yeah, if he fits, if is this a? Did you say this was a more of a deluxe figure? Is he like this a little bit deluxe better? figure? Yeah, it's going to Walmart, so mm -hmm. you'll never get to see it. <laughs> I don't know. I yeah, see a lot of stuff at Walmart. I, I live in a small town with one really? Walmart, and uh, I usually I'm like I'm like the the only toy collector here, so. I, I do uh, get so we know who to to when leather has clogging up the shelves at your Walmart. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, yep, Vex is buying them for everybody. Yeah. Oh, I've I've uh I've seen the uh, Moss Man so many times now. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I remember when that was like a big deal trying to find that. Yeah, Berkey <laughs> Allen, a uh, friend of the channel, and also. Yeah. Uh, Poster on uh, that Motu Origins Turtle of Graceful and WWE Superstars page on Facebook. That's Carlos's Facebook. Went to several local Walmarts and they're all overstocked with current Moss Man. I still not. I still haven't seen Moss Man in my Walmart, and I'll just shut up about that. I, I've only seen it in one Walmart. I've, I've got multiple Walmarts around me, but that one's like thirty miles away, and it's only been in one store in my area. Good. That's it. <laughs> um. All right. Now, this next figure I thought would have been a deluxe figure, but he is a regular figure. But look at the pack out for this guy, Casey Jones. I know. This this is something that I, I would have a hard time passing on just because of all the cool weapon accessories. Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, he looks great. He, I mean, he doesn't even have to be like Motu eyes. I, he looks fantastic. Um, obviously, there's nods to Motu with his his big hockey glove being Jitsu's glove and obviously yeah. his hockey helmet being Ram Man's helmet. And some of his accessories look very, you know, Motu-ish, but um, he can he can go great in, I think, your TMNT display or your Turtles of Grayskull display. Totally, yeah. I love that you can, like, dress all these figures up and down and kind of make them Motu. You can make them Turtle. You mm -hmm. can make them anything in between. Um, but also very cool that looks like it's a reuse of that chopping hand from the Masters of the WWE Universe line. Just like, uh, I think Mr. T had that same gauntlet chop hand that fit over his hand. So uh, there looks like oh, yeah. a reuse of parts from a lot of places here. Well, that's that's obviously the spear from Castle Grayskull right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, and Jitsu's sword, right? Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, they're they're definitely reusing multiple yeah. parts. Yeah, he looks great. That hammer looks mm -hmm. pretty sweet. I like that hammer. Yeah, yeah, the hammer with a skull on it. Like, who wouldn't like that? Right. <laughs> That's awesome. I think it. I think that was an accessory for one of the um, WW Masters of WWE figures. Oh, really? Oh, you're right. Yeah, I think that was. Uh, that might have been Triple H's hammer. If I'm yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. The King of Kings. All right. Uh, good health. Good health sculpt. Yeah, great help. Yeah, great head sculpt on all this stuff. Yeah, they're knocking the great. accessories and heads off of these figures. Not literally, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good yeah, stuff. It, he's just a solid figure with yeah. tons of good accessories. Yeah, I'd be uh I don't know. If I saw him in the store, I'd probably pick him up. <laughs> Allison I, 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 <laughs> I do like how his uh boots and <laughs> laces. Yeah, yeah, his, yeah, his boots cool. are yeah, his boots are cool. Like you, you don't really yeah. see that uh, paint scheme at all. Yeah, no, they look fantastic. Oh, interesting, Dale. Could use that hammer for Goatman. Yeah, if they're doing like, uh, who is it? Um, Geldor. Like, yeah, Goatman should be like one of, the, one of the or one of the origins figures too. So, mm -hmm. uh, no, Geldor from. Uh, it's it's from the Ma Masters of the Universe Classics line. They're turning into a oops, and I oh. have to load those images too. Anyway, oops. All right. Um, moving on, we That's have Miss. We can do it all. We'll go back to the medical later. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Miss Tila, who is just over. She's got turtle armor everywhere. Kind of a samurai. So this this looks like exactly a Tila buck. Uh, with a bunch of turtle armor on top of it and a new head. Yeah. So, you know, they were able to reuse most of Tila and then, um, you know, just to add some extra accessories on her. Yeah, add some extra accessories. You can take them off. You can do whatever they want. But interesting. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, you can see the the kind of spaces in the back for the for the turtle shell to plug into. That's and I'm wondering if they, if they just reuse just a normal, uh, like, Tila. Yeah on here yeah they did they absolutely did yeah yeah you, you can see it um you know she's got the arm bracers um you can see underneath kind of like the little her little bustier or whatever she normally wears <laughs> so that's that's a regular tila with the turtle armor on top of it yeah yeah mm -hmm. so do they have a a picture of her with her helmet off besides the white background picture yeah they um, I don't know, um, but it's funny the the white background pictures. Like, there's two of them. One of them, one of the pictures, she has like her armor's in gold, or like some of her uh, accessories are painted gold, and then the next one they're painted silver like this. So it's just kind of funny. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I just... you can, you can see running changes on these because, um, like you were mentioning, I was looking at my Michelangelo here, and they totally changed his. His little wig and now it's more form fitting and looks different mm -hmm. in the other photos. So um some yeah. of these are probably yeah. earlier production photos than others. Yeah. Oh here I found a here we'll just throw this one in here. Oh there you go. Yeah. 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 I just, here's, here's one where they didn't yeah, they you just can, didn't bother to paint them. <laughs> yeah that's that's a regular Tila that they slap the stuff yeah. on it. So yeah. Uh, I, I hope they uh in the uh, other one it hands, looked like it but uh, I was hoping the face was improved because um, yeah, this picture I wasn't real happy with the face. Yeah, this is this is the one that came with yeah, Zoar, right? It's a little off. Mm hmm Okay. Yep. Is it cool. can you can you see her hair? Is, does she have a ponytail or a bun? She does, yeah. In the in the picture, she looks like she on does that, have a yeah, a little ponytail. Yeah. <laughs> in that one, yeah, she has the ponytail. In the other picture, it might be the the one with the bun, so I, I can't tell. Cool. And the previous one, because it looks like yeah. an early prototype. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Are you uh, are you getting this one? Anyone? <laughs> Me? Sure. I may skip it. I have. I yeah. have to Next. see more. <laughs> but once again, I, this isn't my line. But uh, yeah. I, I I still want you know I I was so close to getting the cartoon collection Tila. And I still am. Uh, I just I feel like if I dip my toes in that line, I have to get everything. So yeah, you I, do. <laughs> that that um, Taylor is incredible. I love it. <laughs> yeah, 
it's and we'll great. talk about that when we get to that line. But yeah, uh, I'm, I'm looking at her right now on my shelf. She looks great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't have to sell the toy sorceress on that one. She's sold. Um, all yeah. right, let's move on to uh, Skeletor. It looks amazing. It comes with a lot of very cool stuff. A lot of nods to the Havoc yeah. staff and its weapons, and a freaking mutagen mm -hmm. canister. Yeah, he looks good as a samurai. <laughs> I didn't see the mutagen canister before. That looks pretty sweet. It does. Yeah. It's uh yeah, it's it's so cool because also um it's kind of a, has a similar vibe to the like 2000 X canister that like uh Keldor mm -hmm. tried to throw on King Randor. Oh right. Face, right. Yeah, the yeah. acid. So that that is the 2000 X um uh chin armor that he's wearing, obviously that they've reused and then the face sculpt looks like it's the 2000x face but with the samurai helmet on top of it oh you're right in terms yeah. of sun. man they're getting a lot of mileage so that, out of that, that was the of this yeah you look, yeah it's i mean it's so funny because like no matter what they do like they repaint it they add it like it looks like a totally different figure yeah yeah no they did a great job i love the nunchucks with the Havoc staffs on either end. That looks really cool. And again, this was that tattered cape that uh, the um, undercover oh, yeah. He-Man, whatever it's called. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> undercover brother. The, the ninja He-Man or whatever it has. Um, this, is a good, this is a good question. Are we assuming this is glow in the dark? I'm gonna say no, just because yeah. it, just, it just doesn't look like glow in the dark classic. It just looks like neon green. What do you think, guys? I, I, agree. I agree. And also, you know, I I feel like they would do a Mattel Creations or something if it was glow in the dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 The, the old, yeah. You definitely have to buy that figure just for the news. Oh, They're yeah. a little cheap when it comes to that glow in the dark stuff. And <laughs> I, I don't know. I wasn't real. Uh, I got the two uh, skeleton warriors and yeah, my only, mm -hmm. my only origin figures. And I was a little disappointed in them because, uh, I don't know, they oh. just didn't feel like they glowed that strong. Yeah. I mean, the scare glow, yeah. I think it's because they're so thin. <laughs> it just yeah. kind of it washes them, you know? It also could be the, if you're trying to light them under LED lights, if you have, like, the old incandescent bulbs, then they actually grow, glow a lot stronger. So it could be the yeah. the light that you're using is weak. Weak sauce. <laughs> Oh, I could I could test it out again. We'll see. All right. Well, you report back. <laughs> Let us know. Yes, yeah, uh, I will do. All right. Who haven't we covered? Oh yes. Uh, so this is the only image of Two Bop Steady, if I'm not mistaken. Two Bop Steady out there right now. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I I thought I thought Sword Toy Sorcerers, you did a much better job uh, mashing these two together. I was actually going to open that one up and. Oh. <laughs> do a comparison. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Berkey. I want oh, yeah. to see. Mine I hit mine up with a black light and they glow pretty good. That's a good one. Okay, I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have it. You're you're not wrong. You just have a different experience than everybody else. Or maybe they they uh didn't put as much glow plastic in mine. Yeah. Uh all right, are you uh are you are you gonna be showing something toy sorceress or should we uh are you trying Wait to a second, my uh my wi fi is just I am but my wi fi is just like freaking crawling so I guess I can't okay. pull it up in time. Oh here it is. <laughs> um what do people think in the chat about uh, two bop steady? Like my only thing about this figure yeah. is like now they have a buff for two bad. So like I'm so thankful that they made this because we get to see what it's gonna look like before it's made. Do they have a buff for two bad? Because yep. I feel like they uh would do textured skin on too bad. Um if it's a mm, not really on a if it's a I mean, they, they could apply some, but <laughs> see, you did a much better job on this one. Yeah. See? Looks good. Yeah, so, so, so that's that's mine right here. I, I photoshopped that. I think it looks awesome. <laughs> I was hoping yeah. for something more like this. I think the one that they yeah. gave us is, it, like, the buck is too thin. Um, their heads are too small. Um, I don't know. It's something about the proportions that just don't 
don't work right. Like these really look like, you know, the classic Playmates figures uh, with the with the bigger, chunkier bodies. And uh, what they gave us just is a little bit anemic looking. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What do you guys think? I, I think they're kind of, I mean, I think they're kind of neat. I, I do like, uh, I think it would be better if it was a little chunkier. But um, I just want to know where that mace goes. Yeah. Where does that mace plug into? Oh, yeah. So like that, uh, that's a reuse of Krang's mace, right? Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. So it just plugs into the port where you take his fist off and it just plugs in right there. And oh, okay. Yeah. I guess I was thinking he had a weapon that it was supposed to yeah. plug into, but I oh, just the hand. I got yeah, you. it's just a hand. Um, yeah, he's got to come. I'm thinking that he's got to come with a little more things, deluxe figure, but maybe the we're paying for the buck here. So yeah, but, yeah, I don't know so how they do tech on the figures, but um, yeah, I think you're right. If they do it too bad, then they're gonna have to apply some form of mm. like texturing to kind of mirror the the vintage figure. Well, like, uh, yeah. uh, Alf, you know, Alf brings up a really good point. Was, yeah. Go ahead, Sorcerer. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I, I was just going to say, Alf brings up a really good point that this looks like it would work for filmation cartoon too bad body mm -hmm. because, you know, he's got the, the slim down um, wrist bracers, um, a little bit less uh, detail, I guess, on the Ooh, on the buck point. and the, the waist and all that kind of stuff. So this... This one look makes a little bit more sense um, for, I guess, a cartoon collection type body for yeah. for for a too bad. <laughs> Absolutely not the origins one. <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah. To me, this well, this is if 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 this is going to be the basis for the vintage style one, I'm not, I'm going to be underwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. We don't. We do not want to underwhelm you. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I've, I've set my awesome. expectations too high now. With the, my design. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's you can only go down from there, right? Yeah, yeah. The head sculpts aren't too bad, though. Uh, was that a joke? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I know it's late over there, but I'm just kidding. The head sculpts aren't too bad. All right. Um, oh, God darn it. Not I too bad. Bad. <laughs> Hook, line, and second. That, that just went... Right, right over Vex's nice. Yeah, you know, aerodynamic. Uh, the are cool, yeah, though. I mean, this it looks more like a te <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure, right? Uh, I should. I wish I would have even. I didn't even realize I made that pun. God darn. <laughs> it's punny. Um, I think the figure that uh, that stole the show though is uh, this guy here. Like, whew. he looks amazing. Yeah. Oh my god! And I apologize if I'm if I'm delayed. I, I seem to be having Wi-Fi issues. But again, awesome figure going to Walmart. What do you guys think? Again, they, it's like torture, right? Because we're not going to yeah. get them. But Vex, you're going to have mermans coming out of your ears, apparently. Yep. Your yeah, you <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll be honest. I'm I'm on the. Uh, uh, I'm probably on the uh, wrong side of the opinion here, but. I'm not okay. So I appreciate how awesome this looks with the translucent skin, and it has a really cool looking head, and you can swap the tail and the feet. Super cool. But to me, it's not merman. I don't know the the, the yeah, head it's sculpt. Mutated. It's mutated. Oh yeah, yeah. But he de he definitely looks cool. Yeah. I just for me, I'm not like nah. It's not merman to me. But yeah. Yeah, he's not it's a not cup merman. of tea. Yeah. It's not merman. It, it, it's he's absolutely not merman, but but like stand alone, say something happened to him. Obviously, he's mutated. He looks different, but that looks like a cool figure. Yes, yeah. it does look like a cool figure. Just, no, like, I hundred percent agree. Ramion and, and we got you know the other guys. Mm -hmm. Hundred <laughs> percent agree. It looks like an awesome figure. Yeah, the, I, I'm not sure how I feel about the dangly bit. I know what they're going for with the dangly bit on his head, but <laughs> it looks kind of funny. Yeah, um, but yeah, the I, th I thought the paint apps were kind of amazingly applied. It's kind of more like a you know like a a wash, kind of all the colors bleeding into each other. And yeah, the yeah. the color for the translucent plastic and his face, it's like purple. Cool. Yeah, I think he looks really really awesome. 
<laughs> yeah, a lot of uh, more more fun. That's uh, funny. Absolutely, um, Slither's session. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know they're, they're yeah they're trying to get a lot of use of that lady slither tail. So, well, I mean, but but they changed it though, Michael. Yeah. It, it's a fish tail though. It's not a snake yeah. tail. So half yeah. of it's a different skull. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are going to buy like a lot of these things just for that tail, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the paint apps. Now you can make a, a, really a nice. mermaid. Dude, you can, can put like Phil's head and make a mermaid out of it. <laughs> there you go. He does look like he has a, a mermaid fin, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of love for Merman. Not that he's going to Walmart, but lot, looks like there's a lot of love in the chat uh, for for this figure. Yeah, I, I think this one's the standout figure in the line right now. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, he looks awesome. great right there. I think that. You know, the translucent figure, the really awesome, you know, kind of uh, uh, wash on, on his clothes and, and how the colors are, you know, fading and, and it just looks great. And it, he looks like he has so many paint apps on his face. I mean, they went yeah. to town on this one. Totally. Yeah. I don't like it's funny because it's like it looks like they're pouring a lot of like time and effort and paint and plastic into mm -hmm. these figures. I wonder if the. Um, partnership that they have if they're given extra money to just kind of do all this stuff. They they probably are. Um, and also, obviously, because uh, Ninja Turtles is a movie property as well. Hmm. So there's more there's more dollars in that. And maybe you got to think, well, the cartoon collection, they're saving some money on tooling and paint because those are all slimmed down and more, you know, animated looking. They've got more extra funds in the in the budget to spend on this side of the line. <laughs> Oh, here, let's see. Um, Alf was saying there's, if you, here, we'll, we can take a look at another picture just from the back, too. I'm wondering, mm -hmm. um, what do you think those two little ports are for? Because he's not a turtle, he's a fish. Yeah, does he, do, he, he doesn't come with a shield, does he? And with his accessories, does he have, like, a, a turtle shield? Um, that's, that's, a a, good, like the same ports. that's a good question. In in just that single image with all of his accessories, it doesn't really show anything more than what we see. Really? Maybe yeah. he was supposed to, and they maybe they value engineered it out because <laughs> of costs. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, and yeah, it's like it's, it's a brand new like hmm. armor harness, right? And why would you yeah. put that? Yeah, why, may, maybe it's compatible, maybe for like part swapping or something. But I don't. It, it could be. I feel shot. like there's something that's supposed there to go, go on there. <laughs> Timbo from Limbo. Nailed it. <laughs> uh, now I'm in the mood for some clam chowder. <laughs> yes. Um, and I think that rounds out all of the turtles. Um, we have, what, three other lines to go through? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, and that uh, is the very it. same uh, trident that uh, Cartoon Collection Merman comes with. Oh, that's you are it. absolutely right. Mm -hmm. So there's parts using all over the place and yes totally where are those corn cobs lol where are they all right um so yes. in addition maybe they to, plug into the back yeah <laughs> the, in to the turtles line we also have the masterverse line that dropped today Woo! Uh, let's okay. talk masterverse yes finally <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, a lot, lot of cool stuff coming for the Masterverse line. Uh, some surprises we did not see coming, um, which is great because it's it's nice to be surprised every now and again. Yeah, especially when you get all the leaks and information way before Yes, everybody else. Yes. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, what, what did you think just overall just looking at the, the drops? Um, Hit miss, all good. <laughs> oh, for, did you ask me? I'm sorry. Anyone? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I man at arm, uh, man of war. Sorry, <laughs> uh, mm. he is a little. Uh, that face looks. He, I, you see him on the animation. He's way bulkier. Yeah, this one. He, yeah. Uh, they tried to make it to the the masterverse. But as the customizer, I will say that buck is a uh, gunmetal gray buck. 
Mm -hmm. And that is a pretty sweet buck to uh, use for customs. Oh, that's good. <laughs> but uh, he, he looks better with his mask from a, another uh, video. Or, yeah, if you zoom in up there to the top right, he does look better with his mask. Yeah, that one's going to be super pixelated, but we can try. Yeah. But yeah, that's yeah, another, uh, I don't want to say Dio shot, but stuff in the background, which is cool. Yeah, he's got his mask on. You can see Battle Armor Skeletor with his helmet on which is awesome mm -hmm. they don't have that uh picture yet so yeah a lot of cool stuff coming for the masterverse line um yeah one of them being <laughs> thunder punch he man oh yeah that head <laughs> <laughs> now th that's every no everybody has been saying that the faker head use that he-man head so anybody who said that and they complain about this head you know you don't have any room to complain because they they listen to everybody yeah saying that they love that faker head and they made it so i, I did uh, it. <laughs> it looks like he's wearing a wig there's something wrong with his hair it looks out of place and odd and on on faker yeah. and i don't know if it's it was a production issue. It it looks like slightly like askew, like if he was wearing a toupee and it he turned his head and it, it moved without his head, head moving. It's like not in the right place. It's not centered on his head, right? There's something off about it. Yeah. Um it always, Aaron that's who, what always bothers me about him. Aaron, who's an amazing friend of the channel. I'm telling you guys it's Lady Elaine Fairchild. I actually need to look that one up because um I am not familiar uh, with that one. But let's see what we can find. Uh, so, but now the it's funny. Like I I love the head sculpt on Faker, but like for some reason, if it's translating onto a body of a figure that's more human looking, I mean the the apple cheeks and the hairdo. It, it's I, I was a fan in the beginning. I'm now I'm looking at it. I'm like, mm, no, there's, there's something wrong here. <laughs> so in this in this little segment, I wanted to do something kind of fun because. I um, actually made myself a custom uh, Masterverse Thunder Punch He-Man like a year back or whatever it was after we got the 40th anniversary ones and they were clogging up the shelves. I bought myself a cheap 40th anniversary He-Man and I had an extra Origins Thunder Punch He-Man so I used his accessories and easily made myself one. But the reason I wanted to show this was because, um, oopsie, sorry, Michael. I want to okay. get closer. Up. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys really, you know, the the buck, the thunder, the fortieth anniversary buck, which has the the bigger chest here. I think looks really good, and the the face sculpt actually is not not that bad on this mm -hmm. He Man. It looks it looks pretty damn good. And just comparing to what we got there, I love you know the backpack that they gave him and um, his shield and and sword. Everything looks great on that. But had they gone maybe with the 40th anniversary head instead, I think it would have looked better. Um, and then, you know, just as comparison, we'd have the, the classics key man and he's got his little, you know, uh, uh, gun caps or whatever in there, which I don't think they included that in the uh, shield, right, in the design. But um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, just in comparing if, if they went with this kind of head sculpt and maybe this body. Uh, rather than the kind of slimmer uh, buck that they used. Vex. Yeah, Michael. I think they used the uh, Revolution He-Man buck uh, from the Battle Armor. Mm -hmm. I, I can't tell exactly. Uh, so I guess one thing they are doing pretty nice with the Masterverse, they kind of found a, a, a skin tone, and they're kind of sticking with it. So <laughs> you, it is nice that you can kind of swap the heads. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah. I have two minds about that 40th anniversary. I, I really do like it, but at the same time, I don't feel like it fits in with Masterverse. Um, I, I, f I feel like it's kind of off on its own. I think, you know, it, it was so close. Like the, the head needs to be slightly wider on this He-Man, like just a little bit, like it was a little too slim, but, but overall, right. you know, so far, all the heads have been a little bit off, but this is probably the closest to, to He-Man. So they could have actually really took this and just maybe widened his head a little bit to, to give the right proportions. And they yeah. would have nailed it. They're so close to getting like the right 
He-Man face. Um, and somebody else in the chat said it, that I don't mind the face too much on that He-Man. I don't think it looks bad. I think what looks weird is the hair. Again, yeah. it's kind of yeah. like a skew or it looks like a, a toupee. The way it's just sitting on his head is just, something's off about his hair. <laughs> yeah. Well, for those who uh, custom customize, uh, I saw somebody take the um, the cartoon collection hair and put it on a He-Man, and it actually looked really good. Uh, wow. Oh, that's good. Oh, just like just lifted it off and just plunked it on there. Not, not yeah, plunked. yeah. I think you gotta like you know boil the head and stuff and then pull the hair off. But that's mm -hmm. good. It it looks a lot better. That uh, yeah. yeah I'm pretty. Ha that cartoon collection has me kind of thinking about getting it just because those head sculpts in that collection are really nice. Yeah, they are great. Oh, they look yeah. Great. I agree with Allison too. Like, yeah, it's it's probably a paint at fail. Like, it it does look a little bit more painted than it would be if it's actually produced in mass market. From a uh, distance, it looks good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like beer goggles, right? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. It's like every single version of He-Man we get from the Masterverse line keeps having like a different head and a different head and a different head. It's like, yeah, why can't they get that's, it? Right? <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. They're 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 chipping away. They don't want to give you the perfect head. No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of an imperfect head, here is the uh, Man of War. <laughs> Man. Yeah, he all <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be wearing that mask. This this totally looks like they kind of lifted like a man at arms from the CGI line that's not being made anymore. But that looks really nothing like he did in the in the Revolution series. Yeah. You know, with that new Eternia man at arms. They, they have the uh, opportunity to do something really awesome. Yeah, and that's just keep making the helmet and heads the exact same, so you can swap off all the helmets with any of the mm -hmm. heads you want. If they just did that, I mean, you could do that. Then, so going forward, every uh, man at arms just have the same head size. And helmet size, I don't. I, I think they should should just do that. Yeah, it frustrates me when they they come up with a, an amazing idea and then they're like, "Well, we just mm -hmm. did it for that one figure. Mm -hmm. Let's keep yeah. keep it going on so you can swap parts." Yeah, yeah, they definitely need a different designer. Yeah, I, I agree with the JT there. Uh, oh. Yeah, man, I think this I think encapsulates it for me too. Man of War is the most disappointing figure reveal. <laughs> Yeah, but that is the uh, Mechanek buck, I believe, um, which is a really cool, uh, yeah. you know, uh, kind of mechanical looking buck. So, mm -hmm. yeah, for those customizers, get it. Yeah, I love that mustache double. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to circle back to JT's comment here, yeah. just on Thunder Punch, just because it's so funny. My chain smoking aunt, he <laughs> Oh my god! Totally, yeah. I mean, it. Yeah, it could totally be an, an, anti Thunder Punch He Man. I love it. Exactly. I do like the gold sword. Yeah, yeah the sword looks great. I mean, I, I think I'm gonna buy that He Man anyway and just and put this head on it. You know, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, there you so, go. I'm fine. It sucks that you have to even like think about that. <laughs> I know it does suck, but it is yeah. what it is. The uh the like the destitute man at arms was like my favorite from the Revelation series, but I hope he comes with a different head. But I'm not sure because he has a mask, so yeah, yeah. not say that. But yeah, I mean, it's got, it's got new cool Eternia is still my man at arms. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was gonna say Vex. What's your favorite? Because that's yeah. my favorite too. Is the oh, it's it's amazing. Yeah. New, I, I I can get into a whole spiel about new Eternia, but. Uh, yeah, I, I love that one. I actually sold off my other two because I was like, why do I need so many Ant Man at Arms? He's turning into Snake Eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think this one is going to be a path uh, for me. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep too. my new Eternia Man at Arms and the Destitute Man or the Homeless Man at Arms or whatever that is. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, this one, Snake Tila. What do we think? Thoughts? I like that we're finally getting a decent female buck. Uh, you know, I I would prefer to see this in uh, you know Tila's normal look 
with the uh, snake headdress. But, mm -hmm. it, you know, it's nice to have a little bit of a, you know, skin showing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's got skin showing, you know, definitely Green Goddess vibes. That, um, that headdress she, wearing, she wears is really, really neat. Yeah, yeah I do uh, like that headdress. Yeah. Are, are any of you disappointed that she wasn't translucent plastic? And no, we don't want it to be brittle, but I think they've already proven they can do a lot of translucent plastic with the uh, Turtles of Grayskull figures, but uh, I was hoping she was going to be translucent plastic green. Yeah. I guess I'm not so big on it, but uh, I guess from a... Yeah, go ahead, Michael. Oh, no, I was going to say, like, I'm, I'm okay with it. Because they are they are going to make a green goddess in translucent plastic, I'm sure, because they have the mold now to do that. Um, That's true. I originally like here. Here are my thoughts. Like going back to Revelation, they did a Revelation mm -hmm. trap jaw with the motherboard techno cult gear, and I was like, oh, okay. There's there's two trap jaws in there. There's a motherboard and a standard. And now, okay, flash forward to Revolution. I'm not falling for that again. I'm not going to make this my green goddess. This is Snake Tila. I'm sure they're going to make mm -hmm. a green goddess for me <laughs> later down the line. Yeah. yeah. I imagine well, I'm gonna... uh, if the line keeps going, we'll get like a new Eternia green goddess or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but, totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the figure looks stunning, though. I think I, th I thought they did a very good job putting it together. If, if new Eternia ever makes a female character. Right. <laughs> <laughs> A little salty about that, but anyway. Uh -oh. um, that was how you really feel. <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering how the green effect piece works, if it goes on the uh, staff. Um, I'm not sure if it goes on the staff. Look, look like it might be something yeah. that maybe goes on her arm. Like on her arm or hand or something. Yeah. yeah. So? Like, she's, like she's, she's maybe doing something like this, like shooting it up. Yeah. Yeah. But I wonder, I wonder if the... Uh, Headdress is also attached to her head, or she can move her head freely. Interesting. Yeah, th this is the only picture that we got for her. So, inquiring minds. I I want to say that they probably didn't mold that to her head, because yeah. well, actually, there's nothing. There's no straps keeping it behind her. So maybe it's just something that's form fitting yeah. on her head. I'm not sure. Yeah, I feel like it's either glued to her chest or. Uh, is glued to her head because if it's not, it just would be kind of falling off or something. Uh, yeah. I'm, not sure, yeah. I'm not sure how it's on there. Yeah. It's kind of but, cool that she comes with the staff of Ka, which is something new that we haven't seen in the line. Um, I'm not going to get her just to get that staff. Just trust me on that one. <laughs> so. Yeah. That staff is awesome. That's a yeah. very well uh, designed staff. It is. Yeah. Uh, I think that staff also comes with uh bone thrown skelly, right? It does. You're or right. A of it. Right. So you'll get one. <laughs> yeah. Miss Allison Troy, uh, Information Factory is coming in with uh, Revelations and Revolution and Pop has the cover has covered the ladies. That is very true. New Attorney Attila and Evil Lynn will feel like retreads <laughs> as they aren't a ton of difference between pre-production and vintage. Absolutely, Allison. Absolutely not, Allison. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree because I'm do sorry, it. but I do not like any of those Tila's or Evil Lens in the in the uh, Revolution or any of those things. Uh, I want my you know more classic looking Tila, more classic looking Evil Lynn. and also mm -hmm. those head sculpts are a little bit too cartoonish for me. And I know they're designed yeah. from uh, the Revolution series, but. So far, all the Revolution series are kind of plain Jane uh, to me compared to New Eternia, which has right. more interlocking gimmicks. I just learned a whole bunch of new stuff from Snout Spout that I didn't know <laughs> when I was uh, doing the review. Did you know that those hoses uh, plug into the axe and yeah. also uh, plug into the chest and you can take the tusks mm -hmm. out? And plug them into oh. the. Uh, I I didn't know that, so that's it was. Cool. That's not, that's a new one. I did not realize that you can. Yeah, tell I haven't that. played around with mine at all, but um, but yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I saw somebody pointed out on Facebook, and I was like, oh, look at that! That's, that's awesome. Really cool. 
Yeah. Uh, and, that, and that's the same reason I like like New Eternia for like uh, Man at Arms. The fact that he's got interchangeable mm -hmm. helmet. I, okay, I'm gonna I'll stop. On you just you blew away Neil Hunter Hyde. <laughs> <laughs> the tusks come out. Hey, yes, they do, Neil. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah. Um. All right. Next up is a uh, Emperor Hordak, and oh yeah, here's here's an interesting picture. We have silver. <laughs> Silver armor and black armor. Which one are we going to get? <laughs> the black armor, because uh, like you said, the white ones are always the unfinished. And I, I think uh, the black is more mm -hmm. of the production photos. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Yeah. It's um, like a gunmetal black, though. Yeah. You know, it looks like it's a, nice black. a little bit of green. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a pass for me. <laughs> me too. I don't have this much to say about this one because I'm just not. Yeah, it, he, I I think everybody likes the um I I'm I have the two versions that were in the Revolution series, whereas the uh, the gray you know classic looking version, uh where he you know first meets Keldor, and then when he fights Skeletor at the end that battle version, and I think those are the two versions everybody was you know hoping for, and we got just the one where he sits in a chair. So yes. Yeah, um, I like his I like his pop version the best. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on this one. So yeah, yep. I mean, I this stuff appeals to different people. Just like if if you want him more power to you, I'm happy for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't do it for me. I mean, I, I like the head and kind of the the face sculpt on it. But that's pretty yeah, I, I agree with that, and I like the staff. Yeah, but I'm not the paying money for a head and a staff. No, no. Who, who would do that, right? <laughs> All right, um, let's move on to uh, New Eternia. And th I think this is also the only picture that we have of Mermaid. I was going to grab some. So, a yes. shame. <clears throat> All right. Oh, what happened? We lost Sorceress. Oh, she might be doing something. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> what, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, Mr. New Eternia, Merman, Mr. New Eternia? Okay, so when I first saw it, I, I talked to Mad Hatter about this one uh, quite a bit. And, uh, you know, he he pointed out that he thinks that head looks kind of like an AI uh, made this <laughs> merman. Like, AI, come up and tell me what merman would look like. And this is what AI came up with. Um, it's kind of growing on me, though. I I saw it when he he's on the shelf in that other picture. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. I felt like it looked a little bit better, but I can see that they took a filmation head design and they took the Lords of Power face and reconstructed it around the uh, filmation design and then slicked back the ears kind of like uh, in Revelation. Yeah. It's like a melted. So it's, yeah. They, they've, they've molded all the, you know, merman heads together. And like yeah, I said, Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Toy Sorcerers. No, no, no. I and the reason I I went camera off is because I ran to get this guy, and what I gotta ah, say is I'm glad I have him because I've been wanting a classic merman in the uh, Masterverse line for the longest time, and every single Me time too. I got him wasn't quite the right design. And then now I'm looking at my classics version of merman, and like this. This is Merman. This is like the wonderful mm -hmm. Merman I was hoping we were going to get in Masterverse line. And I was a bit disappointed. I mean, not to say that maybe this will grow on me. He might be a little bit cool, but something, something's a little bit off and very kind of maybe early concept looking about this Merman. That's just not hitting it for me personally. So, you know, right. I brought this on purpose because th this is the Merman I was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, yeah, if you can uh, zoom in there, Michael. Let's uh, see. Uh, all right. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Now, when I see this, the head yeah. sculpt looks a little bit better. It's hard mm -hmm. to tell. Yeah. I almost feel like it he's got like cool. a, a wall underneath his eyes, but um, <laughs> he needs he needs to sleep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I still am not a fan of the yellowing uh, gloves. Mm. Yeah. I, I hope they change that or something because then when he has a like when he's holding, lines. yeah, when he's holding a weapon, 
he goes from uh, you know having open three fingers, then all of a sudden having four mm-hmm. fingers when he's holding a weapon. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, <laughs> like okay, let's just slap a, a, a human fisted hand on there. I I I, I really like the loincloth. That's right out of the uh, uh, Mark Taylor's artwork. Um, yes. Yeah. For the. Yeah. You know, that's why he's, the... he's like early sketch merman but you know ho- hopefully there's room for improvement because this is probably an early concept and uh, let's hope he gets a little better looking <laughs> yeah right and if not i hope eventually we get a 2000x merman oh that would be cool. yeah and if not i saved myself 25 dollars because i've got this guy <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually took the uh lords of power uh merman head and i, oh, I nice. painted it and put it on the masterverse oh wow oh, nice. Because I don't like the revolution, revelations. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's so cool that you can do that and actually like make stuff that look good. Like if I did that, it looked like a two-year-old did it. So I'm, I'm glad that <laughs> well, you did that. <laughs> you just got to keep practicing and That's waste true. a lot of money. <laughs> um, all right, let's see uh, who is up next. Ooh, we got Cyclone. This this was a big surprise for me. I was I was so ready to pass on this figure. I was like, I don't really care about Cyclone, but once I saw him wearing that mask, I was like, okay, he looks pretty sweet. Yeah, what is up with the yeah. mask? That is I, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> they and, had to do something to like New Eternia, New Eternia eyes him, right? So it's like throw yeah. a mask on. Yeah. What else are they gonna do? And I, I love uh, what they're doing with that shield and with the effect of parts. Oh my and god! That, yeah. that to me is New Eternia, where they yeah. they don't just use it for one thing. They mm-hmm. they've come up with like really intelligent ideas on mm-hmm. how to use uh, his weapons or effects. Yeah. Um, that's also what's a little disappointing about Merman is he doesn't seem to have that interchangeability with anything like the other ones have. <laughs> but yeah, Iron Man pose for sure. Yeah. Ken, somebody who I had the pleasure of meeting in person last Sunday. Uh, Best day ever. We went toy hunting around his sister's house and just got to hang out and just talk toys with people in in real life. Like, so that was the that was the best part. That's awesome. And if you haven't checked out Toy Connections, you gotta check it out. Ken does like the most awesome uh, toy history videos. They're so much fun. Uh, Ken, keep up the great work. Um, some really great G.I. Joe history videos he's been yes. putting out there. So check yeah. them out. Yeah, so originally this was gonna be a pass for me, but I think I'm gonna be getting this. Yeah, you totally yeah, you totally mm-hmm. should. Yeah, this this is what I envision like New Eternia to be is just mm-hmm. a very different, like cool looking take on the figure. I need to see like if they're drawing inspiration from like they must be drawing inspiration from something. There must be old sketches lying around somewhere or somebody in their design department is just really good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we did, we did find a couple old sketches of Cyclone where he's got like kind of the extra um, armor pieces on his shoulder. And you can tell there that they've, they've added kind of that loincloth where he normally doesn't have one. Um, and they got rid of the lenticular sticker and now it's like an actual molded piece. Oh my God. That's too funny. I was taller than my globe stuck <laughs> hilarious and of course i did bring um o2 classics um cyclone just for you know um show and tell or or you know uh visual aid comparison so you can see what a a very classic looking cyclone yep. looks like compared to the new eternia one um and i like the update that they did on this one yeah. i actually really yeah. like the figure i'm gonna be getting it um yeah this but, is know, this is one of those you can see here the phone. go ahead Bex. this is yeah this is one of those cases where i uh am strongly more attached to the uh masterverse than the uh classics version mm-hmm. that's great yeah. yeah yeah this this one is so different like some of the new eternia figures look very much like their classics counterparts so like this one is mm-hmm. so different that you know it could be like it could be Cyclone's brother or something you know from the classics line if you put them side by side <laughs> <laughs> you know you had a brother <laughs> I know, right? I just make up family members. Yeah, I know. That's awesome. That's his cousin. <laughs> Long yeah, lost there. cousin. Because. <laughs> <laughs> <We're returning. laughs> yeah. But yeah, that mask makes a world of difference. 
Yeah, I'm wondering mm-hmm. like where like who thought of like make like turning into like either a, like a samurai or a ninja because I know that a lot of people know that I d- dislike ninjas, but I do like this figure. We got like the samurai style helmet, right? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that is the topic for another day. Uh, but yeah, cool looking figure. Um, yeah, it's it's funny because there was a picture floating around of just the chest piece of Cyclone, probably what like a week and a half mm-hmm. ago. And so yeah, it doesn't look yeah. like he has a lenticular, but we'll probably get a you know we're getting the lenticular in the origin line, so I'm happy I'm fine oh, with that. Oh, even yeah. with that piece, it looks like he still has uh, articulation in the uh, chest. Oh yeah, articulation. Yeah, yeah. that is true. Yeah. Um, Alice and Troy, keep me um, keep me honest here. Could they could they convert that chest piece into a piece for Strobo for Masterverse if she's still on? Um, anyway, <laughs> I was was going through my head. She uh, she has like all the tooling memorized, and she's a good uh, she's like a good use of has a lot of good information. Uh, Cyclone Ronan Samurai. That's awesome. Ronan, yes. So so what about you guys? You think you're gonna be picking them up? Oh, totally. Yeah. Um, I, I'm hoping the, the yellow is not as mustardy, but you know, if it's kind of a little mm-hmm. bit more like the shield between like the mustard yellow and the shot and the shield, totally. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be kind of a gold. Mm. Mm-hmm. It does have a little bit of a gold tone. You can see like it's kind of shimmery, like yeah. a shimmery plastic. Yeah. Shimmy, shimmy. Oh, so, yeah. I, I suppose in the production shots, it's maybe not as gold looking as that the white one. That, yeah. Yeah, but mm-hmm. it's a cool. I like. I love what they did with the accessories because you can pose them in very, you know, very many different ways. Yeah. And I love like every part has a place to go, which is cool. Yeah, it was. What's also I just thought of, uh, you know, it shows them uh, with that shield punching down. Uh, I suppose if you turn, yeah, if you turn those around, it, may, it makes it look like the sh- shield would be spinning. Oh yeah, that's true. turn one okay. of them around. That's neat. So, yep. Yeah, and, and I love it. His shield stows on his back too, which is really cool. It's the first time we've had that. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do dig the loafers he's wearing though too. So I'm just saying, like he's got some style. <laughs> he's got some flair. Uh, not Ric Flair, but he's got some flair. <laughs> Woo! All right. Uh, next up, ooh, Battle Armor Skeletor. This one, this one's unreal. Like I'm. I'm in love with this figure for so many reasons. Like if you want to battle armor something, you need to give him armor and he's got a ton of armor. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I really like this too. Uh, that ax is really sweet. Uh, the helmet is also the, the head sculpt itself is really evil looking. You know, mm-hmm. when I look at this, I think heavy metal. Uh, I also really love the redesign of the the boots. You know, we always got those kind of weird three-toed oh, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. boots in uh, for the figures that, where the toes are like separated. They actually put the toes together this time. Yeah, I really like those. Yeah, from from head to toe, he looks really great. And I think we were talking about this at some point. Like this kind of looks like chainmail, right, on his head. Oh, right on his head. Yeah, and then also mm-hmm. too, I just noticed on his uh, on his loin area, which belongs there, right? So that's great. Yeah. It's got double protection. Yeah, yeah, very for nice. his bones. Mm. All right, um, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that. <laughs> and then I'm I was that I was going to pull out the oh, yeah, yeah. classics Skeletor just for comparison's sake, so you can see um, they really stylized this one and. Kind of new eternized them, adding those uh, shoulder pauldrons and the extra loincloths and all that kind of stuff on the, yeah. the chainmail on his head. So um, totally going a different direction uh, rather than giving us a classic looking yeah. Uh, yeah. battle armor. Yeah. And I suppose that's why it's new Eternia. So they mm-hmm. like to mess around with the uh, designs quite a bit. Yes. Yeah. I do wish they would yeah. give us some different hands. I, I'm not a fan yeah, of Yeah, I'm so that. That like yeah. I have had enough of the pointing. <laughs> yeah. Is it like a like can opening? Can yeah. of yes. <laughs> Crack open can a can of beer. Yes, yep. Sir Skeletor. Yes, appreciate the new loincloth. Definitely. Um, 
Ooh, yeah, the skeletor will look great on that new throne. Um, yeah, I want to go back to that throne looks great. Yeah, so <laughs> like in this one, super pixelized, but you can kind of get a sense of what he'll look like with everything on. So yeah, the um, helmet looks good on his on his head, which is great. Yeah, I, I love that he doesn't come with another Havoc staff and that they've kind of paid homage to that Havoc staff in his helmet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that is really cool, yeah. actually. I like you pointed that out. That is that is the Rams of the Havoc staff. You're totally right. Yeah. And then, of course, it says, why does Skeletor have a trigger finger hand at all? He doesn't have a blaster. <laughs> You're yeah. totally right, Cora. He doesn't. He just likes to point at people and be bossy. There we go. I'll go do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. JT brings up a good point too. He's he's also taller than a normal figure too, so it's probably one of those like oversized mm -hmm. bucks. Um, yeah. Yeah. Super cool figure though. Uh, I don't know. I I'm seeing mostly uh, New Eternia, the Barbarian Skeletor, uh, in that buck. I'm seeing a. Uh, yeah, I mean that's specifically where that hand comes from mm -hmm. and the, the color, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I mean they they get the hands from anywhere and, and who knows if this is the actual hand that he'll come with anyway. Yeah. I think actually the bone throne skelly is the new Eternia skelly. Yeah, it, <laughs> yeah. it definitely yeah. is. Yeah. Even even the uh the armor, the shoulder armor that comes with them is oh, yeah, the whole area. the whole thing they should yeah. change yeah, the, the head and paint it. But that head is pretty sweet. We'll get yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely. We have a we have a request to go back to the photo on the shelf again. All right, let's see. What are we looking at here? Um all right, let's let's check. Oops, let's check height on this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, he oh, is. God. Yeah, he does look like he is a little bit. Yeah, he does look like he's a little taller than. Yeah, him. good catch. Or, Man at Arms also mm -hmm. has his legs spread, so I'm not like, really he's sure. Like, he's, he's kind of spread eagle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm looking at him uh, towards Cyclone there, and he does yeah. look uh, yeah. almost a head yeah, taller than Cyclone. Yeah. God, he's huge. He, he wow. kind of looks like a probably using Snout Spout's new buck, mm -hmm. the bigger. That was bigger huge. Buck. Boy, that was a big piece of plastic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's still, uh, uh, him and Too Bad are about the same size, but yeah, they're the biggest. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, cool looking figure. Um, one of uh, one of the next figures was a total surprise for me. Did not think that they would ever make something like this, but I guess they're continuing to make the movie figures, which is cool because I used to have them in classics and I sold them and now I want them back, but they never made this one in classics, so it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I've I've got a, uh, I've got all the movie guys so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that beast fan looks really cool. I think he did a great job. I'd love to see some more images of him. Yeah, um, he's just going like, heck yeah, I got a yeah. Yeah. I I'm in. Like, he finally made me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the look he has on his face. Yeah, it's it's funny. Beast man. it's funny because I was. I was waiting for this new Masterverse art to kind of play out because, you know, on Evil Lynn's box art, they do show a picture of Beastman. So does this mean that they're going to be teasing other figures mm -hmm. coming down the line? That's what I'm just trying to say. Yeah. Maybe they're taking a page from their own playbook here. Yeah. Yeah, he looks good. <laughs> I, I, I uh, don't know if he comes with anything else, but, or if he's a... Uh... He better come with a different head sculpt. That's all I'm going to have to say. You think yeah. so? I don't know. I, you know what? I, he looks a little. Uh, he looks a little too happy to be. <laughs> he's happy to be in the line, man. That's what he said. He's <laughs> like, yeah, he's so <laughs> that they made a figure of him. <laughs> uh, he's got two up. thumbs in the Masterverse line. This guy. There you go. Yeah, and like Cora brings up a new point. We need the toy sorceress in movie form. <laughs> there you go. Good idea, Cora. <laughs> All right. Yes, finally a beast man. Um, yeah, so the next one up was also a uh, total surprise too, was this uh, mm -hmm. 
Ocala Skeletor and Bone Throne. Like that totally threw me for a loop, but I was like, this is so freaking cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this one I just wanted to point out was said to be a fan channel exclusive. Um, which we'll see if they go on pre-order maybe late tonight, maybe tomorrow. Uh, we don't know. But keep an eye out on toyhabits.com and you'll know when these things drop for pre-order. But this thing's supposed to go on uh, like EE, VVTS, um, probably Amazon and oh, whatnot. Okay. Um, so it's good that uh, they could have easily made this thing like a, you know, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive because yeah. he's got his lined up throne. And that's where I thought they were going with this thing when I first saw it. And I was like yep. thinking, great, me and Michael are going to have to wait in line to pick this one up at San Diego. Now we don't have to. So that was a relief. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. Yeah. Everybody's going to get the bone throne. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. The, like the two staffs, uh, the, like the color changes in the flame mm -hmm. effect are really cool. It's like, is this, is like, does this have like RGB in it where they just kind of move from green to red to purple to other colors? Um, a lot of questions mm -hmm. here. <laughs> so the, the neat thing about this one guys is that, um, you may love the Skeletor. You may not love the Skeletor, you know, go, go either way. He's really cool. Um, but you can use this bone throne for like any Skeletor you have. That is what the cool part is. Oh, yeah. You pick your favorite Skeletor and sit him on this thing. So um, that is awesome. I think that for is. that alone, it's it's great. But what do you think the price point's going to be? That's Next. what I was going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks like it could be a hefty tag on it. I'm a little scared to see how much it's going to cost. I, yeah, I, I mean, want to I wanna yeah. hope. I want to hope. Fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what a, a blocked origin boss man is forty bucks. So I don't know about that. Maybe maybe seventy four ninety nine. It's got to be sub a hundred. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. yeah, it has to. I be, mean, yeah. you get Gray Skull and uh, mm -hmm. Snake Mountain for under about for about a hundred. <laughs> that's that's right. so true. <laughs> I'm like looking at Snake Mountain and, and Castle Gray Skull here. I'm like that thing was seventy nine bucks. I'm not paying almost the same price for just the throne. <laughs> And right. Kind of right. Think yeah, about well, it. That's why I'm saying fifty bucks. <laughs> fifty bucks would make sense. Anything oh, yeah. above that, I think, is. Pretty it definitely comes with the throne. It's a Skeletor and Bone Throne set. So yes, Nathaniel, mm -hmm. all your dreams will be answered tomorrow when I go look for pre order. <laughs> and does the seat tomorrow. look like it's made like, with some fur? Does it have like fur on the seat? Oh, it you is. Zoom yeah. In yeah, that's it, pretty cool. For sure. Yeah, well, he yeah. needs some comfort oh, yeah. under, mm -hmm. under the uh, old bottom <laughs> there, right? Under his <laughs> Could bone. Could you imagine sitting on actual bones? That wouldn't be comfortable. So no. he needs some softness under his tushy. <laughs> yeah. But he sits don't, there all day. He's gonna... Don't squeeze the Charmin. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so interesting. It's a it's a head sculpt without a hood, um, mm -hmm. which is cool. So yeah, all of them should be that way from yeah. now on. <laughs> yeah. I should be standard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it looks like yeah. I think that I think that head sculpt is probably an alternate head because you know. Oh, does it look like it has articulation too? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah the jaw looks like it moves. Awesome. I don't think it's an alternate head. I think you can remove the hood and it just normally has articulation. Lava lamp skeletor throne. Lava I love that. Skeletor. Love it. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. My uh, brother collects lava lamps. I think I'll send this to him. He should. <laughs> That's awesome. It's interesting that they put the staff of call with him as well. Did mm -hmm. was there any labeling? Is this you know to be no. like a new new Eternia, or is this just this kind of a hey look at Skeletor and Bone Throne? Yeah, I think that's. That's what it was, and um, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm gonna look at the, the um, reveal poster right now. And take yeah, it's, it just said like Skeletor and Bone Throne, but yeah, it wasn't labeled like New Eternia or anything. Uh, mm. But I feel like it should. Yeah, be. just Skeletor <laughs> and Throne. And Throne. That's all yeah. it says. Skeletor and Throne. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He's on the throne. Leave him alone. And pass the Charmin. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I I feel like there should be some sort of story behind why he's got the staff of Ka. Yeah, or it, or if that is mm -hmm. the staff of Ka, who knows if they if they're crossing over yeah. the 
that's a different version, by the way. Revolution too. toy line. So. It looks yeah. bigger, yeah. It, yeah. It, it's not as spiky. It's more rounded. Yeah. Yeah. See, Ken, Ken agrees. You can throw any Skeletor you want on there. You know, he might he might come over and be like, get up, you fool, and kick him off the throne and take it for himself. So pick your favorite Skelly and uh, sit him on that throne. He'll look great on your shelf. There you go. And, and, and Neil says that throne would look great with the 40th anniversary Skeletor. If you have one, he would look awesome on there. And, uh, you know, hit, hit Mattel. Are we going to get a single release? We'll see. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Now, this is pretty much the – this already I'm questioning about the uh, – they're using the uh, new Eternia buck, which mm -hmm. they have been starting to do uh, the – what am I trying to say? The drop down hips for new Eternia mm -hmm. for, for all the figures going forward. So I'm wondering if they did add that to this because that would make it a lot easier for him to sit down Ooh, if he does have true. the drop down hips. Yeah. Yeah, that's so true. Good question. Who knows? Um, awesome. Yeah, can't wait for this one. Uh, yeah, I guess all this stuff's probably going up for pre order sometime tomorrow, which is great. Uh, so we will know a price for tomorrow. But um, last but not least in the Masterverse line is Leech. Uh, and it's the Princess of Power version of Leech. Yes. I think he looks great. Um, he's got like a ton of detail on his on his hands. Uh, again, my last, my last uh, visual aid for the evening. But looking at the classic Leech, you know, he's just got those flat, um, you know, suction cup hands on him. Whereas this one, they actually added like, you know, the little texture, if you zoom in on, on his suction cups that make it look like he's, you know, actually sucking onto something. I, I think they did a fabulous job with the detail on this one. And of course, this is very filmation-y because um, he's got the orange uh, pauldrons, rather an added pauldrons where he doesn't have that on the vintage style for Leech um, and that yeah. brighter green skin color and the uh, the dark green shirt. So this is absolutely a um, filmation style leech that they did. Yes. Me. Yeah, he looks he looks great. I I totally thought the same thing when I saw it. It's kind of a mashup of like all the versions of leeches, but really leaning into the filmation part, which is cool. Like uh, you know the yeah. the pop line is very filmation, um, mm -hmm. and I think. Jay from the Pride of Grayskull is usually on point when he calls the uh, usually the the pop figures in Masterverse look like filmation figures, which he's right again. Yeah, yeah, and it looks like he stole a Beast Man's whip there or something and put it on his wrist. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an interesting way to do a whip for somebody that can't hold like a figure that can't hold anything. So it's like yeah, he's, it got, he's got it on there. <laughs> yeah, it's like all the it's accessories on the wrist, which is cool. Um, he does win the uh, like the photo <laughs> of the whole. Uh, this is like breakdancing leech, which is that's cool. right. Like, this was the best picture that I saw out of all of the reveals. I was like, yes, this is this is this is how I'm gonna that's pose awesome. it. Yeah, he <laughs> can easily awesome. do a handstand too. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. gymnast leech, uh, breakdancing leech. You know, we're gonna have to put like a cardboard box under him so he can like do his moves and put, get a little like. <laughs> boom box for him to tote around i would oh be surprised God, if he so doesn't cool. come with grab hands but yeah who knows like yeah i think uh yeah we'll we'll see um but maybe actually maybe not because they made yeah. all the accessories clip onto his forearms so. mm -hmm. yeah that's true chris is a noticed that it's got slush heads legs so that's yeah cool. he's got those uh that texture mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that yeah. reuse from Slushhead, which I was actually hoping uh, that they were going to reuse uh, <laughs> Too Bad's <laughs> texture, that scale texture on uh, Too Bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I was hoping they were going to use that texture for the new Eternia Merman, but I was a little disappointed. Yeah. It's all right. We'll, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll give them a pass. It's funny, like. Every leech they make, and this counts for like the origins leech too. Like the way that they do his waist piece it looks like a diaper. Like I just I can't like unsee like a big, you know, it's just kind of like 
there's really not a ton of dimension to it. It's not a loincloth, but it's just a kind of a it's a diaper with a with a cold belt around it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I, I collect uh, you know Todd McFarlane figures too, and those those have a and also NECA. Those have a, a diaper. Uh, I, I think they hide this a little bit better than those, anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I think it's, all right. it's, it's so, great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So Moving that ends our uh, Masterverse talk, and we have Ooh. still have the cartoon collection to go through in the origins. So. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, gotta... I just want to uh, say something real quick. I was hearing that uh, San Diego Comic Con they might have a couple extra figures to be showing cool like this might not be like a hundred percent for you know the whole year yeah so yeah yeah most definitely yeah they do let's, they do say a lot let's of, they hope do that vex because yeah. i'm gonna say one thing i'm gonna put it on the screen right now i need a hero <laughs> i gotta get hero i need a hero um where the heck is hero <laughs> I, I I love what they showed today in, in terms of the cartoon collection. Uh, we we pretty much called all of these figures except for the uh, Stranger Things two pack. Um, but I'm disappointed that there wasn't any powers of Grey Skull shown here, and um, there was a, there's such an opportunity for that because we just all got our Eternia playsets. We want our laser light figures. We want our pre-Eternia hero and Eldor figures. Um, and we got none of that right now. So uh, let's dive into these. But, um, you know, that's that's what I got to say for now. And, and I hope that they are holding on to some stuff. We know already that uh, we, we, we predicted that uh, Too Bad is going to be a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. He was not on this list. So um, there's got to be more figures coming, but let's dive into these. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, uh, yeah, Prince Adam and Cringer two pack which i think you were wanting for the longest time oh my gosh how long have i freaking freaking saying this every time we did a wish list for the cartoon collection or a wish list for the origins line for that matter in general i've been begging and pleading for a freaking prince adam and cringer two pack when i saw that image that you have on the screen right there michael i flipped the heck out i lost my s that is so cute He's totally articulated. He looks like he stepped out of the Filmation cartoon. And it's amazing that, you know, um, Adam has that other head sculpt where he's like laughing. They look totally adorable together. I can't wait for this one. I hope he's very easy to get, but they knocked it out of the park with this. Um, what do you guys think? Yeah, I, I totally think they did. Um, and also too, you notice he's given a, uh, he's given an articulated wrist so he can hold his sword aloft, which is awesome. Yes, it is awesome. And I, I will actually be getting this. Not as articulated. Yeah. Are you going to be getting this one? I will be. Yes. Yeah. I, oh. I, I don't, I don't collect the cartoon or origins or any of that, but for Cringer, uh, that Cringer <laughs> is more articulated than uh, Battle Cat from Revelation, Revolution. Re ah, I get it mixed, yeah. Revelations. But yeah, yeah that's he can, he can actually sit down and look normal doing it. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, and I can probably fit, I can probably, he's big enough, I can probably fit him in the Masterverse collection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, yeah he's, a, he's a big figure. That, that surprised me to get a fully articulated Cringer. Yeah, yeah, he's even he's do even you, got a abdomen uh, yeah. articulation. That's so cool. Oh, totally. Do either one of you have the classic cringer, the the statue yeah. one? I do yeah. have it, but he's small and he he just sits there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. I have zero classics. That's, okay, man. that's the one somebody that I forgot to grab. That's yeah, okay. somebody needs to go on a shopping spree and get some. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, the, yeah, the only yeah. classics figure uh, I would actually want is the the merman that you have. Oh, okay. There you go. I I am the fa I am a fan of that look. That is yeah. my favorite look. Well, you get it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, super excited about this set. Um, 
Also something that we predicted uh, was the uh, cartoon <laughs> Evil Lynn figure, which turns out she turned out great. Like I'm really digging yeah, this. She looks really good. Yeah. So, so the one thing I did notice in different uh, photos of her, some of them, her skin tone looks a little bit more peach color and some of them, it looks more yellowy. And mm -hmm. of course, in the filmation cartoon, if you remember what the Super 7 version of her looks like, she's got more peach colored skin. It's not, it shouldn't be yellow like the action figure, the vintage figure yeah. was. Yeah. So um, we'll, we'll see which way they go because um, it kind of looks a little bit of both in, in these images, if you look at yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, another figure and that makes me it comes with the shaking staff, which is a very cool accessory. Um, I love that, and it's funny because I'll tell you, we we predicted all of these cartoon collection figures coming out, Bex. But the fun part of our prediction um, articles that we did before these all came out was we were trying to figure out what accessory and what episode yeah. specific accessory would come with each of the figures. Now we got every single one of them right, which is hilarious, except for Evil Lynn. And that was yes. only because I think Michael was uh, prejudiced by the one that came with the um, Super 7 <laughs> version yeah, of Evil Lynn. Well, I've I, I I forgotten that uh, this, like she had used the shaping staff in the filmation cartoon because Skeletor used the shaping staff in Revelation. So like I was, I was kind of putting mm -hmm. it to him versus her. So yeah, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah, but that but it, but it's great. I mean, I think she looks wonderful. Yeah, she looks Jones. awesome. It, you flip, do you have a couple more pictures of Evil Lynn open? Is that the only one you've got there? That's the, I mean, that's the only one. Like, they all look yeah the same. Like, if you want to check out her skin well, tones and whatever, but... I, I was gonna I was gonna share my screen for a second because she looks a little different in um in this one. Okay. Oh, about the eyes. No, you see you see how she looks more peach color in this view. Oh, it's not as it's not as yellowy. Yeah, I guess if you it, want to call it that's the one on the lighting. Right. I mean, it's the same yeah. figure though. It's the same figure. So, oh shoot, I'm so sorry. I zoomed in way too much, and I'm gonna stop <laughs> sharing because I'm gonna make everyone dizzy. But but so we'll see we'll see how her colors come out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she she yeah she shouldn't be as yellow as the um, no she as shaping the, staff. Anyway, yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, she does look good, right. though. I another figure that makes me want to collect the cartoon collection. Yes. Well, I, we're gonna. I'm telling you, you're gonna be in. <laughs> well, I'm just someday wishing we get a Masterverse cartoon collection. Oh, geez. Wow. Okay, you want like that scale cartoon collection? That's funny. <laughs> yeah, my 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 shelves are gonna be able to handle all that. <laughs> yeah. Um, another interesting. Michael, you one. nailed it on this one. Yeah. You know what? It's funny. Like the. Some of the bad guys are not in very many uh, filmation episodes, so it's like, okay, which one could we see him coming with? Um, I forget what this statue is named, but um, yeah. some of the it, other... It's a Grimmel gr gr oh, can right, statue right, from yeah. the Cat and Spider filmation. Yeah, I was like, what could they do with Web Store that they can do different? Like, it pretty much looks like it's the the harness and the and the head sculpt, basically, and that little statue. So, And then, of course, the uh, whatever the the rope and his web. Yeah, so that's a little statue they go after during an archaeology uh, expedition that Prince yeah. Adam and Lucula discover this temple of the cat. So you totally nailed it on that. And when I saw these images drop this morning, I was like, yeah. "Yes, you're totally <laughs> right. That's awesome." Yeah, it's funny too because, like, in that episode, it also comes. Uh, Katrina is also in that episode too. So yeah. I'm really hoping that they also make her down the line because they made her for like a Club Grayskull class experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that happening. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, yeah. So not you know the the cartoon collection figures are you know they're pretty standard, not a lot of flair, but you know they do give a nod to uh, their episode and their and their pack in. So yeah, this little. Uh, I, I forget its name already. <laughs> Gurgle gir can, something like that. Thank you. Yeah, that'll fit uh, <laughs> on the shelf very nicely. Uh, another one that we called was Spike Or. Yeah, and, and Spike Or comes with whatever accessories he's using in the Filmation episode, The Game. And this, again, was one that you predicted, Michael. Um, those are the game pieces that are in that Filmation episode. Yes. Uh, those little round objects. And then, of course, 
You have his um, his spike that you switch out for his gun. Now, it doesn't look like it extends, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, yeah. But what do you think of the spike? Or I mean, he, he looks cool. He looks like he does in the cartoon. Yeah, I, I think they did a great job with the with the armor, the spikes. You know, you're not going to impale yourself when you're going to be playing with them. So that's great. <laughs> yeah, the that episode where they were kind of playing that game with the heroic warriors, like that was the only episode where like Spike War got his like due presence on screen and he had a good he had a good episode. So I was like, that's probably it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I like this better than the uh, Revelation Spike or and Masterverse because yeah, that one, didn't, that one didn't have any real spikes. Right, they were just kind of nubs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nubs. He was a little nubby, um, but yeah, it uh, yeah, he looks great. Um, yeah, I think they did a good job with the face sculpt, the yellow eyes. Um, yeah, so he's gonna look good on that <laughs> cartoon collection <laughs> card back. <laughs> it's giraffe. Oh, yeah. He comes with Super Mario. Mario. <laughs> Love that's it. cool <laughs> that's awesome um uh, another figure that was revealed which was very cool because the clawful vintage figure looked nothing like the filmation version uh, <laughs> well that's this, clawful. this one looks great mm -hmm. yeah the clawful, yep. he looks just like he does in the cartoon <laughs> he looks yep. like the club graceful version and yep. it's funny because clawful appeared um probably the most out of these three in seven filmation episodes and i i actually wrote the article on this one, and I guess that he would come with the Horn of Evil, which is yeah. that device that's sitting right next to him from the episode Driel's Return. So when I was writing about this this morning, I was like, yes, I got it right. <laughs> it was like a little game between me and Michael. Um, and he absolutely came with the Horn of Evil. It's hilarious. So yeah. this is this is a horn that the, they used to try and break into Castle Grayskull. It's actually a really great episode where Driel comes... Um, from the land of Trolla and helps uh, Orko and their friends stop um, Clawful and uh, Triclops from uh, breaking into the castle. But um, great episode if you haven't watched it. But um, he looks great. I mean, he looks like he does in the cartoon. Yeah, that that's what we've been. That that's what I've been wanting at least. And you know, if you didn't pick up the Club Grayskull one, you wouldn't have a filmation Clawful looking figure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've ever yeah. seen uh, Clawful in Filmation. Now that I'm, guess <laughs> I'm I'm looking at him. I'm like, oh, yeah. I've never seen we can show before. you what he looks like in a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's exactly what he looks like in a cartoon. And yes, I'm happy that is this is going to save Alice and Troy some customizing work. Now they're coming out uh, with this. Figure. That is what he looked like in the cartoon, right there. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> you no, know, he looked nothing, nothing like his toy. Yeah, that's the claw I'm used to. Yeah, there you go. And then this is this is the club first call version, which looks just like that figure. And uh, he absolutely, oh, my computer is dragging. Sorry, uh, all right. not doing well with the screen share today. <laughs> and, and, and that's that's the uh, accessory he uses in that episode. So. Cool. That's a cool accessory. Oh, the accessories with the cartoon class cool accessory. is a really cool idea. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of like they did uh, in classics, but I guess since you don't have any, they used to pack some like special accessories and figures that would go along with other figures in the classics line. So like Lizard Man came with the Diamond Ray of Disappearance, and you would get like all of these cool uh, accessories in your classics line for all of the other figures. Yeah. So. My apologies. Cool. He's he was with Trap Job, but there you see him with the uh, the Horn of Evil, and they're right outside Castle Grayskull, and they use it to um, to weaken the sorceress and try and get inside. So, <laughs> very nice. classic episode. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Awesome. Um, all right, uh, another one that we also called coming to the line. I guess I need to add that back in. Mm -hmm. uh the collector vehicle which yeah. was uh very cool no not fight for the collector <laughs> <laughs> so this is interesting uh first vehicle for the cartoon collection line um i actually like yurko's 3d print a lot better because it's like it's probably as big as my desk um but way yeah. too big michael <laughs> <I know. laughs> But uh, you're, you're, cool. you're, you're totally swayed because now you have this big empty space. I know. And when yeah. you start filling it with all your stuff again, you're going to say different. 
uh, this is yeah this is a very cool vehicle it's it's very basic but it's such a classic vehicle it's like and it's it's also it's a horrible vehicle too because it collected people <laughs> and yeah. like put them in the bin and like took them somewhere <laughs> yeah that's that's uh, a it, super it, cool vehicle yeah mm -hmm. it's great that it fits three figures that is right. awesome and it's it's funny because it kind of remodel, reminds me of the uh, the skull ship that's coming out right now for the superpowers line. <laughs> oh yeah. So it's like I'm gonna have like two two skull ships. <laughs> it's very, very nice. similar. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh the scale is it's definitely a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but I still mm -hmm. like it. It looks like the you know, the claws or whatever retract detract a little bit mm -hmm. and retract so that's cool it has a little yeah. feature in it so uh the little projectiles right that uh, it yeah. shoots out missile little blast so that's pretty effect. cool mm -hmm. little blast effects on there that's yeah that's neat yeah it's a really cool ship i mm -hmm. i love the design the fact that you can fit three people and how they have it all organized and i, I got their uh, little controls it's it's yeah. if you go back to the photo there with a uh, beast man and um, I think he's driving it. It looks it looks incredible. See how he's like yeah. holding on. Yeah, that that great. Like that, that's super cool. cool. Yeah, like out of the cartoon, right? <laughs> that's funny. Uh, oh, I have so to pick that up. Damien asked cost for this one. Um, you know their vehicles have been pretty reasonable. I think it's going to be like forty bucks. I don't yeah. think it's going to be too expensive. Nothing, uh, nothing bordering like Snake Mountain or Castle Grayskull costs. I hope so, but. Maybe it's like thirty nine ninety nine, probably at the most. Maybe Sold. Maybe less. What do you, What do you think, Vex or Michael? Cost. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I would. I maybe a little bit higher than the forty bucks, since most of those were uh, single character uh, vehicles. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but I wouldn't think too much more. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, thirty four ninety nine. That's the one I'm going with. I'm gonna say forty. I said thirty-nine. What was 45. Point Dread? Forty. Yeah, it was forty. Okay. And that fit two characters, and it came with a little extra base. Yeah. So. Okay, I'll, I'll go with forty. All right, sold. <laughs> <laughs> there was a method to my pricing. I didn't just pull that out of a, a hat. <laughs> Thought about it. <laughs> yeah. We got Al Troy, Troy thirty-nine ninety-nine. Do it. Al Fighter was forty-five. I think I paid. Thirty nine ninety nine for it. That's yeah, I guess depending on where you get where you it. it yeah, so that I think is all of the cartoon collection figures, if I am not mistaken. Um, we are finally getting to see one of Axel Jimenez's uh, classics illustrations that never made it into plastic, making it into plastic with uh, Vipor. Hmm. Yeah, Which is a, the embodiment awesome. of the Viper Tower that is right behind the uh, Toy Sorceress. It is the right there. bigger version it of the Viper Eternia. Tower for Eternia. <laughs> <That is awesome. laughs> so, I'm a fan of this. Um, you know, I, I love the Snake Man, but I think for me, it's just, uh, it's seeing Axel's work get a second life. So I don't like seeing illustrations, quote unquote, go to waste. And so I like that a couple of his figures that he's has illustrated from the classics line that never made it in the classics line are getting a second chance in origins. I think that's great. Yeah, I, like um, I love how his, his, his head comes out like that. And then, yeah, absolutely. The, the chains hanging off of their total homage to Viper tower. <laughs> yeah. Um, interesting. Like what he has like a white evil in staff. Is that what's <laughs> sitting beside him? Um, uh, Mm -hmm. so. I feel like they just went through the, the accessory bin and said, what can we give right. him? And they just went through that in there. <laughs> yeah. And, and who knows if this is the actual accessory he comes with. Cause in another uh, figure that we're going to be talking about, we finally get to know where that like really cool Kabuki shield goes with now. So who knows what he's yeah. doing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah. I thought, I thought they did a great job. I love the color of the plastic and just the execution of the, of the figure just in general. Yeah, I think he looks great. And um, I think this one's supposed to be a fan channel exclusive, uh, but we'll yeah. see. You know, it's been kind of bouncing around back and forth <laughs> between fan channel and Walmart. So uh, we'll see yeah, where he lands. 
Hopefully, it does the uh, neck a lot of extend out at all? That's a good point. This is the only I, I picture feel, that we've seen, like, right? I feel like the way right. it is that the neck would kind of extend out a little bit. It could be. Yeah. That would we be start. a neat action feature. Yep. Yes. In the, yeah, I think in the Origins line, they're trying to reduce the number of action features. So we'll see on this one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, love, uh, love the figure. Um, another. Oh, somebody said uh, everything's up at BBTS. Oh, look at that. Oh, That's awesome. Rud. <laughs> uh, of course, while we're on the air. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We and don't have a lot for us tonight. Oops, I'm still be kidding. <laughs> I know. Oh right? my god, everything is on BBTS right now. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Uh, oh, geez. Cool. see, look at that. All the community rallying. Uh, you know, to uh, like everybody right. drops off the screen. <laughs> Add to cart. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Purchase cool. video. Yeah, right. Um, oh, the movie Beast Man. Jeez, add to cart. Yeah, everything. Yep. Um, wow. Yeah, including this guy, Reptilax, another one of uh, Axel's um, concepts that never made it into plastic. And he's one of the OG uh, mini comic teases because he's on one of the mini comic teases in the vintage line. <laughs> 70 bucks for that bone throne, guys. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Stratos cartoon collection is also on BBTS right now, in case you're interested. <laughs> oh, excellent. Yeah. It's like we're all distracted now. <laughs> I know. Yeah, sorry. No, don't uh, be. It. The collector is up. Merman oh, $39.99 up. for the collector. That's awesome. See? $39.99. I told you. Thirty nine ninety nine. We who who gets a gold ribbon today? <laughs> well, I hope these don't all come out at the same time. I'll have to check the dates later. Yeah, um, yeah. So we got this guy. We got Horde Super Prime with the hover bot. Um, yeah. So a lot of cool stuff. Um, everybody's distracted. <laughs> Order place. I'm good. We're all rushing to, <laughs> to pure stuff. I know, right? <laughs> Um, this is this is where we need one of those um those station identification breaks that like go blank for like right. five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. We'll be oh, back. Uh, we we'll we'll make our we'll be right back. <laughs> I gotta get that cringer. That cringer is gonna get sold out. I guarantee. Thirty bucks. I, good... I already checked out for that one. Then uh, oh, yeah. uh, I haven't no. done anything. Come on now. I know. <laughs> focus, people. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> yes okay let's keep going hoverbot right. and horde prime to trooper yes um yeah the that weird thing that we saw in the attorney and box art is finally showing up <laughs> yeah that's pretty cool i like that <laughs> it's all hal's fault <laughs> no but it's good how because uh you know we can actually get these pre-orders if you wait till tomorrow guaranteed stuff will be sold out oh uh, yeah Absolutely. Um, but this one's really cool. We did see um, the Horde Trooper and the Hoverbot on the Eternia box art. This is another one that we thought was being teased and predicted that would uh, be coming out. So I think it's very cool um, that they did this. And uh, he has a uh, trap jaw arm. What do you guys think of that? <laughs> a robotic arm that they gave him. That's really cool. I guess, yeah, I mean, they're reusing a lot of parts here, which is great. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's a, it's a robot, so it, it would be fitting for him to uh, have all these yeah. interchangeable parts and stuff. Oh, my favorite thing about this is that little droid, uh, drone it comes with. Yeah, the hover bots, yep. Yeah, those are cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. Um, awesome. And I think there's what one more? Oh yeah, this weird Stranger Things, he, Masters of the Universe crossover, which is totally weird. Um, Target exclusive, so it's not up for pre-order right now. But we know where this uh, Kabuki shield goes with now. It goes with the pasty white He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's a weird one, and I think I am gonna pass. Yeah, I am too. Um, oh yeah. Uh, Stranger Things was cool. Like I think I watched the first season, and I was like, "All right, I can, 
<laughs> my daughter's really into it though. So I was like, who is this person? And she's like, oh, it's Vecna. I'm like, okay, good. Thanks. That's how you figured it out so quick. I was actually really impressed. I was like, Thank Michael you. did some homework. Well, just, I asked my like, daughter. Right like, out and was, oh, I, 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 knew, I knew she would know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a hard pass for me too. Yeah. So who who wants know. just a pale he man? Nobody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except for people that want the Vecna, which is like Morgan. Or I mean, he does look cool, and he's got that, like, I don't know, what is that, like a flaming... Flaming guitar? Hot Cheetos! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's not worth it to me whatsoever. Yeah. No, it's not. I, I like the Kabuki, the Kabuki shield that He-Man comes with. Um, He-Man looks like he's a little jaundiced or sick or... Yeah, uh, I don't know. Cool. He, you know what his color reminds me of, and it's kind of sad. <laughs> you know when ET gets sick, and, oh, yeah. ET, and he starts turning like that weird color. That's what He Man looks like there. Oh no! Totally. Yeah. Totally. Oh, getting and, yeah. And by the way, uh, Bone Throne Skelly, sixty nine ninety nine. Nice. Who gets seventy dollars? I don't know. I guess 50. I, I think Michael guessed 70. I don't know. I, I can't right. remember. My short-term memory is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think Neil mentioned that Vipor is not on uh, BBTS right now. So I'm actually going Vipor to... Vipor is missing. Clawful is missing. Um, yeah, it's funny because I have what the... I see Viper right in the uh, thumbnail. Oh, wait. I'm Do sorry. No. Nope, nope. I'm sorry. I'm getting mixed up. That's okay. That's that, that's Reptilax. Um, so yeah, it's interesting Reptilax. because I have the I have the barcode for Wal you know for the stuff that we found in the Walmart database, but he's not scanning up on the site. So I was like, oh, maybe he'll come up um, at that time. So um, awesome. A lot of stuff dropped. Everybody's distracted with pre-orders right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Toy Sorceress, any uh, anything you want to cover off on before we end? No, I think you know what. I think we're gonna have to punt on our after party because it's kind of late. Uh, me and you have some work yeah. to do, and we haven't gotten scheduled. But um, what we're gonna do is maybe we'll schedule one on Friday. Michael and I are going to be at WonderCon together this <laughs> weekend, right? No. Yep. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I will put, we'll, we'll get back to you guys on, uh, on, on the next after party. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. We want to thank uh, Vex for joining us. Uh, talking Mo too is awesome. Uh, Vex, tell people uh, where they can find you. Uh, they can find me uh, on Instagram under Vex Doppel and uh, they can find me on YouTube, uh, Vex N Toys. That's the letter N. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, the only places that uh, is worth checking me out at. All right. Awesome. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And thank yeah. you for having me. Oh, of course, of course, anytime. And since these pre-orders are launching, uh, the Toy Sorcerers and I have to uh, get to work again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We have a lot of work to do. So we, we apologize uh, for not being able to um, do an after party tonight. Uh, we thought we were going to be able to do that. Um, but uh, we will schedule one very soon. And Ryan Cole slid in there at the very oh, end, God. gifting five more to have its memberships. Wow. Thank you, that Ryan. is so awesome of you, Ryan. And uh, it's been so much fun. Uh, Vex, thank you for being on the show. We had a great time. Oh, thank you. And our apologies that all hell broke loose and we're all distracted because. Not only are we distracted that we got to get pre-orders and Michael and I have a ton of work to do right now. So <laughs> but, <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ryan. And thank you everyone for uh, hanging out with us tonight. It's always fun to talk Motu during March madness, which is awesome. Something we look forward to every single year. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good night, everyone, and make sure you secure those pre-orders, and we will see you at our regularly scheduled time. All right, now. Take care. Have a good night. Bye, everybody.